Hey guys, still kind of starting to get set up a little bit. I got a little bit of a challenge and a giveaway that I'm working on, but I'm also going to be testing the audio real quick. Let me know if the audio sounds weird. I had to like change my microphone thing at the last second, so it might be a little weird. Please let me know if it does. Um, and I'll be back in just a second to talk about the giveaway and then uh, get started. Okay. All right. Now, well, hmm. Hold, hold, hold on. I pressed go too soon, but I'm not gonna stop it. <laughs> hold on. Hold on. Okay. Oh. Uh, all right. Here we go, guys. It's been a second. It's been a second. I got that. I got that hot uh, uh, live stream energy right now. <laughs> hey everybody, welcome to the stream. Um, this is. I did a really quick like last minute thing, so I kind of like just kind of tried to like rush in there and get it going real quick, like. Um, but hello, welcome back to Sunday live streams, everybody in the chat. Hello, everybody. Today we're gonna be doing something pretty fun. We're gonna be crocheting a flamingo, I think. Well, I don't know. Well, I, I, you know what? I'm thinking it's kind of up to you, but I'm also kind of thinking that I know what the answer is gonna be. We're gonna be making a burb, so I kind of just decided, you know, maybe we're just doing a burb. Um, today we're making a flamingo. Um, this is this month's Club Crochet Pro kit. So if you were a Club Crochet Pro member, you should have a kit available right now so that you can crochet along with us and we are going to be making a flamingo today now you can either make 
uh, A, Florence the Flamingo, that would be this guy right here, or this gal, I should say, and this would be a flamingo burb, so it's not really a flamingo, but instead a bird in disguise as a flamingo, and I just thought it was just too funny, too cute to not put in there together. Um, and today, to make things really fun, I thought it would be cool to do a little bit of a giveaway. So here is the challenge for anybody watching the live stream. Uh, here you can see there's, uh, I put a picture here, I'm gonna probably take this one out once we start crocheting, but if you would like to, whoa, Jane, dude, thank you so much. I will get to Jane's donation in just a second because thank you so, so much, Jane. Um, and Cooperlicious, oh my gosh, you guys are on fire. You're going too quick though. You're throwing me off. I appreciate you. <laughs> okay, so if you would like to enter to win a free three month membership to Club Crochet, you'll get three months free. Or if you're already a member, I'll give you a gift card that's worth the three months, so like $15 gift card. Um, all you gotta do is you gotta put in a caption for this picture. So I just thought this picture was just so funny. It's Florence looking at, uh, at the new burb with the head being taken off and it looks like Florence is like uh what or maybe it looks like this burb is like like uh gotcha or something like that so I thought well maybe you guys can think of something that's really funny so I put in a challenge for you guys you can enter it by going to clubcrochet.com slash caption and you can enter and put in whatever kind of caption you want and who whatever one I think is the funniest or the best I will give a free three month membership. So you can enter to win right here, clubcrochet.com slash caption. There's gonna be a uh, link in the description too. I won't finish it, I won't do that whole thing in this live stream just so that I give some people that end up watching the live streams after um, the stream is already gone the chance. So I'll do it in like, um, let's go with Tuesday. I'll choose a winner on Tuesday. Does that sound good? Yeah, maybe? Yeah, we'll do Tuesday. Um, unless someone really knocks my socks off today. Uh, so, yeah, there's your challenge right there. Enter to win, caption. Uh, and I have another crochet challenge for you, which I'll talk to you about in a second. But before we get to there, let's talk about what you need for today. So if you would like to crochet along with me and you do not have the Club Crochet Pro Kit, uh, which you totally should sign up for Club Crochet Pro Kits, but, well, yeah, you know, whatever, it's fine, it's fine. Uh, if you want to... Here's what you're gonna need. Now I'm gonna be using all worsted weight yarn and 100% cotton. You're going to need the colors pink, black, and white. That's really the only colors you need. Um, you'll also need some safety bead eyes. Oh, wait, hold on. Because I'm using worsted weight yarn, I am using a size. Blah, 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 blah. Out of focus. Boom. G, four millimeter crochet hook. Um, this is my favorite crochet hooks to use. Ooh, I touched the screen, that's not good. Uh, you'll need a pair of scissors, of course, a darning needle to sew in the ends. I like using the crimped end like that. It helps me get uh, into hard to reach stitches. And I really like using these little miniature magnets for the bottom of my burbs because it helps them like perch onto objects. So that's what you need. Um, I will have maybe some over, like uh, overstocked kits added to the shop soonish. Um, I just didn't have the time or energy to do it today, so I'm sorry. Uh, there are like 10 extra kits available that I've made for pro members, just in case people signed up late. Uh, but yeah, so I probably put those in the shop soon. Um, yeah, so that's all the materials you need. Of course, you'll need some stuffing as well. Put those to the side. And you'll need the pattern. You can find both uh, both of these patterns for either Florence the Flamingo or our or Flamingo Burb at clubcrochet.com slash flamingo. You can find the link in the uh, bottom right corner here. And I made the Burb Flamingo free today. Uh, and it's not because I like, I, honestly, it's because I was lazy. I, I, I added it to the store or to the website last night and I was like, I don't have the energy to make it uh, membership exclusive or, or charge for it. So it's free today. Um, until I get the energy to change that. So, get it while it's hot. <laughs> um, 
yeah, okay, so that's the first dealio. If you would like to help support this channel, there's a few different ways you can do so. Let me just scoot, scoot. Um, there's a few different ways you can help support. Uh, the first and easiest way to support is by liking this video down below. Please, if you're watching it, give it a like. Um, yeah, it would be really cool. Also, subscribe. If you're not subscribed yet, I don't know what you're doing. Go subscribe to the channel. Uh, so subscribe, like, all that fun stuff. And if you really want to help support, you can help with a Club Crochet membership. Members uh, are the definitely the best way to support. You get... Uh, uh, early access to future patterns. Uh, for example, there is a pirate hat pattern that was kind of supposed to go out this week, but instead I'm going to be coming out with it in a couple of weeks. But if you have a Club Crochet membership, you have that pattern like way early. Like you've had it for like a month now. Um, and every single pattern on my website comes out with full video tutorials and PDF patterns. And there's a bunch of exclusive patterns like this uh, Florence the Flamingo, that's only available for memberships or for purchase, but yeah. Memberships start at only $5 a month, you even get a free trial, and you can get monthly kits mailed to your door with all the materials that you need to make whatever we're making that month. This month's kit was for flamingos. Um, <laughs> I'm not weird. Why would you say that? Um, yes, yeah, so that is some great ways to help support. Another great way to help support is with a donation. If you would like to help to, like, donate me, tip your hooker, um, you can uh, by going to clubcrochet.com slash tip right there in the corner. And if you tip, I put out a, f uh, a burb for you today because, you know, I, we all love burbs here. So we're going to be adding burbs to the screen. Now let's get, let's get our main two out of the way. And we'll start off with um, big thank you to our three donors who who jumped the gun, went way before anybody else did. Let's I'm gonna go ahead and hide this corner stuff before I do again. Enter to win at clubcrochet.com/caption. You can find the link in the description below, and I'll mention it again a little bit later in this video. Um, but quick thank you to wait. Oh, that wasn't Jane. It was Johnny. Johnny Elliott. Thank you so much. Twenty dollars. Oh, they they're not here anymore because they have to. They're moving things from their new house. But really want. Oh, well, thank you so much. They supported for twenty buckaroos. That's crazy. Um, that's a pretty big donation. So we're gonna go ahead and start it off off hot with long. Oh, oh it's out of focus. There we go. Long, long pigeon. The long, long pigeon's gonna be out here for Johnny. Thank you so much. And of course, long pigeon is always ready to party. Burbs are the best. Burbs are the best. There, I said it. We'll put them right there. Right there. And then we got uh, uh, another donation from Cooperlicious saying, have a great week. No, you have a great week, Cooper. Thank you so much for your donation. And thank you for helping me. Cooper is helping me with my stitched game. He's been giving me a lot of uh, pretty super solid uh, advice and play testing my game a little bit. So I really appreciate that, Cooper. I just want you to know, I appreciate you. And for that, we're going to put out, oh, let's do this. Now this pattern's not out just yet. But it will be out soon-ish if I get my butt in gear. A little uh, macabre. So macabre, 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 macabre. No, 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 no. Anyhow, this is for you, Cooper. Thank you <laughs> for your support. I really like the uh, color changes in the wings and the tail and stuff. Um, and then one for oh, we even got another one. You guys are on fire. Tina, Tina. Oh, what is Tina? What do we get? For oh, I know. Tina, 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 Tina for you, because I love your uh, little milkshake, pink milkshake in your thumbnail. Thank you so much. Uh, this we're gonna go ahead and put out our little owl burb for you, our barn owl burb. So sweet, so nice, so nice and sweet. And that's gonna go right there. And then we got another one. 
Benio Benoit? Benoit or Benioit? You have to let me know, Ben. Neot. Let me know. We we stay. Oh yeah. <laughs> let me know if you uh what how to pronounce your name. If you can, if you're in the chat. But let's go ahead and put out the um uh <laughs> Let's put out the seagull that got into some really weird trash and now is, like, kind of seeing some things. <laughs> I love this one. It looks like he uh, accidentally ate some, like, hippies garbage or something. And now he's stuck in a different universe. So he's going to go right here. Go ahead and split these guys up. We're going to split these guys up. We're going to have a little, our, little war, a little burp war. Um, okay, so I'm gonna get crocheting and then I'm gonna talk about the challenge that we are going, that another challenge that we are doing. And, okay, there we go, there we go, there we go. Where are we gonna start? Do I start with the pink? No, I don't. I don't even know why I'm starting with it. Yes, I do start with the pink. I do, because we're, we're making the wings. Um, another big challenge right now that I just released yesterday is we're doing a pretty cool club crochet challenge on Discord and Reddit. Um, so if you have joined our Discord and our Reddit, there's this really cool new thing that we're doing that uh, if you have, if you remember from last month, we did one. Oh, look at me. I'm going so fast that I didn't even close my magic loop. I got to slow down. I gotta slow my roll. Let me put this down for just a second to slow my roll and put out something else for Fra. F R A? Fra? Fra. I think I said it right. <laughs> Thank you for your support. You guys are kicking butt today. So supportive. Thank you. I appreciate you guys. I'm gonna manual focus that so it doesn't keep like switching in. Um, let's see. Let's put out. Another pattern that is not out just yet, but a burb nonetheless. A little toucan. I have to work on this one because I really think it would be a great addition to the site. Uh, and it's just tricky because you got to get like the color changes lined up. See, because when you take the head off, boop. Wow, I really like that one. I love how, okay, well anyhow. Uh, thank you for your support. I very, very much appreciate it. And uh, hopefully this toucan will be out soon. We'll put it on on this side. We need names for our teams here because we got we got two teams going on here. And I gotta say, one team's looking a little, maybe maybe a little bit more stacked. Just my humble opinion. We'll have to stack this side in a little bit. Sir Pearl Gray. How you doing? Welcome, welcome. Um, Sir Pearl Gray made the coolest Gyarados a few, well, I guess I was like maybe a month now ago, but it was really cool. Uh, I think he has a pattern out for it too. So if you're looking for a good Gyarados pattern, look for Sir Pearl Gray. He's got a really good one that just came out. Um, okay, where was I? Oh yeah, so we're doing a pretty cool club crochet challenge right now if you would like to enter to win. Uh, basically, we're doing a spaceship challenge where you take either the spaceship uh, rocket pattern or the UFO pattern, both of which I made free for the week. So if you want to find either of these ones, this one's at clubcrochet.com slash rocket. This one's at clubcrochet.com slash UFO. But I made it free this week because of the challenge where you customize your rocket or UFO. You make your own spaceship. Um, you can either add things to it, you can do color changes, you can you can fully redo the pattern if you really want to. And whichever one, um, we're going to choose me and the moderator team uh, consisting of a Coffee and Crochet that might be in the chat, Sarah, who is in the chat, and uh, Mel Bell, and uh, probably Jules will get some input as well. We're going to choose our four favorite rocket or, or spaceship patterns that people submitted and we're going to put them up for a vote and whoever wins the vote will win $50 so there's a pretty good solid start and you will get your pattern added to the club crochet store so I'm going to work with you whoever wins to make that pattern 
for the Club Crochet library. It'll be a free pattern in the library, but it'll be available for anybody. You're gonna get full credit for it, obviously, and you get to work with me to make a pattern, which I thought was really cool. So I just thought that'd be a fun little challenge. If you would like to submit to it, I have all the details available at clubcrochet.com slash challenge. C-H-A-L-L-E-N-G-E. -E. Um, so yeah, you should definitely check that out. There's only one week to apply. Uh, we'll have next Sunday, we'll, we'll be doing a, I think we're going to be doing another stream next Sunday. I'm not totally sure, but uh, regardless, that's gonna be a little, yeah. I might extend the, the submission deadline because it's kind of quick. But yeah, if you wanna try submitting to a, your spa the spaceship challenge, um, that is how you do it, clubcrochet.com slash challenge. I'll be posting a lot more about it in uh, on Instagram and Facebook and stuff like that, so make sure to keep track of it there. And yeah, we'll talk, uh, we'll, we'll, we'll do that. We'll do that. As you know. All right, let's keep going. I am, I got, I got some mood today. You know what I need is some coffee. Just kidding, I don't need coffee, but I'm gonna have some anyhow. Kai, hello. Do I know if I can make a mini burb? Now there's a question because I would argue that these burbs are already pretty small, but I bet you you could do one even smaller by using like either, um, like embroidery thread, or maybe by using like uh, sock weight yarn, that could be pretty cool. Make a really itty bitty burb that's like that's like that big. I do have one that's like kind of made. Chirp a little. Hello, welcome. I love the new thumb thumbnail. Chirp a little. I love the burb. Um, I have this little tiny burb that I made with embroidery thread, so you can kind of get an idea of how tiny you can make them. But, um, yeah, you could probably do them pretty freaking tiny. You know what? I'm just going to go ahead. Let's go ahead and put this guy out. Out for just just for fun. He's going to go on this team. We're going to put him in. Uh, he's going to be sitting on the head of our of Tina's owl. I'm sorry I put a needle in your head. That's bad. But now you've got a burb on your head. So it's it all it all evens out. It all evens out. Okay. Let's keep on keeping on. K Fawn, what size hook am I using at the moment? I'm using a size G four millimeter crochet hook. That is the size hook I'm using. Oh, dude, it's your 32nd birthday. Well, happy birthday, Chirp a Little. You know what, Chirp a Little? Let's say that. We're gonna go ahead, I'm gonna put out a burb just for Chirp a Little's birthday because I think that is so cool that you decided to join the live stream on your birthday. You rock. Um, I'm pretty sure Chirp a Little is a big fan of Mr. Uh, no, where's Monsieur Quack's head? Oh, there it is. I think you're a big fan of Monsieur Quack if I remember correctly. Um, and that by remember quack, correctly, <laughs> I mean that um, everybody's a big fan of Monsieur Quack. So Monsieur Quack will be out here. He will be on the team, uh, the left team. Uh, what is the name of our left team? We need to have names for our teams. We were going to say um, that this team over here is the, the, what if, what if like one team is like, different noises that burbs make. So like one is a, <laughs> I'm very glad Chirp a little, I'm glad you love them. Uh, let's say one team is like like the tweets and then one team is like the, what's another noise that burbs make? Tweet and, and caw maybe? Or now caw is kind of a lame name for a team I guess. I don't know. I need some suggestions. That is a mini burb on the on the little owl. Yes, that is a little tiny burb made with embroidery thread. Choose your challenger. Team Squawk. Oh, I like that. Okay, so we got Team Squawk and Team Tweet. 
I think that this team looks more like a squawk. Well, no, because we do have some squawkers over here, too. Yeah, it is an, it's another donation war, you know? That, that They happen every now and then. Team Squawk and Team Tweet. So we got um, Team Squawk over here, Team Tweet over here. How about that? Okay, the Chirps. Okay, so Team Chirp and Team Squawk. Does that sound good? You know what? I think we need signs to, to not confuse ourselves. I think that it's only only smart to have a little sign if I can find a pen. Here we go. Here we go. Oh, Team Hoot. Ooh, Hoot. I like the chirps though. Okay, here we go. We're gonna go. We gotta write this on here. We're gonna go. Team Squawk. I think I might have spelled Squawk wrong, but that's okay. Right here. Right that. I will go. Team. <laughs> Okay, and now if you do, if you have a preference on which side you want your team to be on, go ahead and let me know. Otherwise, I'm just going to put it on the team that has less members. There we go. Let's move over Team Squawk just a little bit. So it's more in the corner like that. There we go. Let the war begin. Let the let the battle for the burbs begin. We're going to have an epic battle of beaks and wings. Okay. <laughs> uh, thank you, Claire. I uh, have terrible handwriting, but I appreciate your appreciation. I appreciate your appreciation. Uh-oh. And again, for those people that are joining a little late uh, and would like to um, enter to win some some a free months to the Club Crochet uh, memberships, uh, you can write, boop, right there. If you caption this photo right here, you can enter the win right here, clubcrochet.com slash caption. Make me laugh. Whoever has the best caption will win, and it is my opinion. So it's my humor that you're trying to make me laugh. So good luck. I laugh pretty easy, though. I do laugh pretty easy. Okay, back to moving. Thank you for joining, Johnny. Good luck. <laughs> All right, so we are on to, I am making the left wing now. If you are crocheting along with me, we are making our flamingo burb. And we are on our left wing. Just like the left wing girl. That's actually true. It is just like the left wing girl. Because the seagull and the flamingo pattern are actually very similar. Um, I actually made the flamingo first, and then I was like, oh, I could do a seagull. And then, uh, yeah, so they're very similar. Very similar. Aaron Burb. <laughs> Aaron Burb. I like that. I like it. I like it. How you guys been? It's been like a little bit. It's been a second because we had, you know, 4th of July and there was, well, I guess we did a live stream after 4th of July, huh? We did our, um, we made, we made Nigel. Where's Nigel? Right here. I still have him over here. I made a whole little video for him 
And check it out. I gave him a pencil. I, I made him a little pencil out of, um, uh, I just took a toothpick and I painted it. So I made him a pencil because he looks like he's just ready to, uh, <laughs> dude, Choppa, thank you. Uh, he looks like he's ready to, to sketch something. Yes, I can absolutely turn down the music. Thank you for the suggestion, Sunshine. And welcome to the stream. Um, but yeah, so this was our character that we made, I think, last week? I don't know. I don't know. But Cakes by Choppa, thank you so much, my dude! How are you doing, man? Hope you're doing well. Um, yeah, hope you're doing well. Cakes by Choppa makes some amazing cakes on YouTube. You should check him out. Uh, just click his little thumbnail there, and you can check out his YouTube channel. Uh, he's great. He's been a friend of mine for quite a long time. I guess like six years now, which is pretty crazy. Uh, 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 and we're going to put out, let's see, what kind of... How about we do like this one? Because it kind of looks like your Aussie trash birds a little bit. Um... Because I know that in Australia, there's those like those trash bird birds that everybody kind of hates. I can't remember what they're named. Uh, they're like, uh, but they got like black heads with like long skinny noses or, or long skinny beaks and they like dig through garbage. Anyhow, this is the closest thing I have to that. So this is for you, Choppa. All right. I am going to put this out for you. I think this looks like it's squawker. Bin chickens. That's what that's what he calls them. Bin chickens. So this looks like a squawker. So we're going to put them on Team Squawk. Make a little bit of room. Put Team Squawk right there. Team Squawk is looking maybe a little bit overpowered. I'm not going to lie. But, you know, it is what it is. It do what it do. Uh, there is fur in my light box. Who can guess where that fur is from? Because <laughs> here's a hint. It's not from me. It is from Jimbo and Phoebe, my cats. Specifically Phoebe. She loves to sleep in my light box. And I'm always like, get out of there, dude. You're not supposed to be in there. But I don't know. I She just feels safe in the, in the light box. And it's really cute, so it's hard to kick her out. Chirp a little. Oh my gosh. Chirp a little wants to build her team. Oh. <laughs> Chirp a little. I can't believe you just donated on your birthday. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you so much. Uh, Chirp a little wants her team a little bit more stacked. So we're going to go ahead and here. This guy is is raging for war. Look at his face. He's like, he's like I'm going I'm to kill someone. I am going to kill you guys. So he's gonna go right here for you, Chirp. This dude needs some coffee. He looks so tired. He actually looks like maybe he's been in a fight. This is when I was I was testing out like eyelids for the characters, and I think it looks all right. Like it's not bad, but it does look a little maybe a little too poofy. But also, it's I don't know. I don't know. I kind of like it. <laughs> so that's out for you, Chirp. A little thank you for for letting me know about the donation too. Or else I would have totally missed it. I'm trying to bend his face up so we can see his, his weird little eyes more. Your team is, now, now the teams are about fair because this team does have a little bit taller of characters, but this team's got the little mini burb too. So, you know, well, yeah, he does look like he needs coffee. Absolutely. Uh oh, the caption doc doesn't work. I am getting information. Beep boop bop, beep boop bop. Hold on, let me check into that. Let me look into the caption doc. Because that would be a bummer if it didn't work. Maybe it's because I didn't name it. Caption this photo. Try that. Copy this, copy this, copy this. And let me let me check it out on an incognito window to make sure. Aha! You have to sign in. Okay, well, hmm. Hmm. Let's try over here. 
You need permission. Okay, I see. I see. Hold on. How do I... What, how did I mess this up? Send via link. Copy. Hold on, I messed this up somehow. I need to figure out how... Aha! I fixed it! Limit one response. There we go. I fixed it. I think. Please, can you... Hey, uh... Uh, uh, uh... Let's see. Who let me know that that was not working? Abby, someone, can someone test out the caption thing? Yes, again, please, and let me know. Let me know if it's working. I think it's working now. But, uh, I don't know. I don't know. Maybe it's not. I got fuzz on my shirt. Okay. The heat. Burp. The heat. You sound like, um, Banjo and Kazooie. Go. Uh -huh. It works. It works. I'm so sorry it took so long for that to work. But it works now. My bad. Absolutely. My bad. It was a last minute decision, so. Okay. I'm hiding this end in so that it comes all the way over to the other side. Aha! I got you. You'll never get away from me. That's an old man superhero. Ah, I'm gonna get you. Here I come. To save the day. Okay. I need some coffee. Now, I got this coffee up the street. Okay, I'm not going to hold it up so you can't see the branding of the coffee. I'll hold it like this while I drink it. But it's not very good. It's very strong. It's too bitter. I don't like my coffee bitter. I like my coffee. My I, I drink my coffee like my grandma drinks coffee. Uh, uh, my grandma is no longer with us, but when she did, when she was around and did drink a lot of coffee, she drank it where it was like three parts coffee, one part, I mean three parts milk, one part coffee, and maybe two parts sugar, and it was great. <laughs> so I drink my coffee that way now, and I like it. I like it that way. I like to be essentially have candy for for coffee. Candy coffee. Candy coffee. Oh, Dumb Dog Studios, how do you donate? You can donate by either going to clubcrochet.com slash tip right there, or you can do a super chat if you want. There's a little um, money thing icon next to the chat. That would be like a little dollar icon. You can donate that way as well. Um, yeah, and any donations, we'll put out a burb for ya. A burb for ya. Let me know which side you want your burb to be on. Okay, now I'm making our tail for the... Our flamingo burb at this point. At this point in time, we're making our flamingo burb. I don't even know what accent that is. A psychotic accent. Choppa's a big fan of bitter coffee. Well, you know what, Choppa? That's... You do you, dude, but, like, you're wrong. <laughs> but, like, you're wrong because bitter coffee is gross. I don't like bitter coffee. Yeah, but, you know, we have different... We have different opinions of liquids in general. Like, you're better at, at 
drinking alcohol than I am, for example. I drink like two beers and I'm like, oh boy. That, was, that sure was a lot of beers. I had two beers on Friday and I was like, I don't think I'm. this is a good idea for me. <laughs> I'm going to wake up with a hangover after two beers. <laughs> Anyhow, you're off. Thanks for joining, Choppa. It was good to see you. Have a great day, dude. Or night? I think it's morning. Oh, no, it's morning. Yes, yes. Oh, it's Monday morning. Well, have a great week, my dude. I think it's Monday morning. Rebecca's having a, huff, a tough day. Well, Rebecca, I wish you the best. Good luck. Everybody's got those difficult days. Um, I've been having more difficult days recently, to be completely honest. Sometimes I just have a hard time getting up. But uh, not on Sundays, actually. Sundays are great days because I get to hang out with you guys. It's a lot easier to get up on a Sunday than it is a day when you have to do work. And I'm like, ugh, I don't want to get up. Mackenzie Knight, welcome. Of course, Dumb Dog Studios, I talked to you. I'm talking to you, Dumb Dog Studios. How dumb is the dog? I have had some pretty dumb dogs in my past. And some dumb, dumb kitties too. Jimbo's a little dummy. He's a little dummy. This week, let me tell you what Jimbo did this week because it was pretty great. Uh, I got home. I went to um, Southern California on. I was there from Monday to Wednesday. I was helping my um, my friend uh, who is like essentially working for Club Crochet, Nicole. She's the one that answers most of the emails and she handles a lot of the kits. And so um, it's it's like a new development that we're working on so I went down there to help her get set up more and just to work on that big project that I'm working on who uh, which we talked about last week I'm working on a book for stitched we'll talk about it in a little bit but yeah so I was down there and I don't remember why I was talking about this but oh yeah that's right so I came back up on on Wednesday, I got in like somewhat late on Wednesday, like nine o'clock at night. And I come into the home and Joe says, hi all. And then Jimbo's like, our cat, Jimbo, is like rubbing his butt on the ground, which he never does. And I was like, dude, what are you doing? And it turned out he had quite a dingleberry and it was, <laughs> it was insane. It was like, Everything just got chaotic because we had ordered dinner prior. So the dinner came like while we were dealing with Jimbo and we we're like, ah, how do we deal with this? It was so funny. But uh, yeah, all week we've been calling him Poop Boy because of it. <laughs> because of it. He's our little Poop Boy. Maybe Poop Boy can come in and say hi uh, a little bit later. I know he wants to. But you know how he is. If we let Poop Boy come in here and say hello for a second, he'll he'll take over the live stream. Or he'll turn it off. Remember last time when we let Jimbo in here and then he like turned off the live stream midstream and we had to restart it? If let me know if anybody was there for that, because it was ridiculous. He literally pressed the one button on my computer to turn off the live stream mid live stream. It was ridiculous. It was ridiculous. <laughs> okay, so we are changing. One, two. Okay, I'm doing this right. One, two, and then that'll be three, and then we do that. Okay. I'll trust you, Pass Blue. It was hilarious. It really was very funny uh, that he turned off the live stream. But it was like, how did you even do that you know <laughs> it was so funny how did you even do that oh I know this tune 
I know this jamboree. I'm gonna turn this. See, okay, so actually, let me show you exactly what I just did there because it might be useful for for some crocheters to understand what I'm doing here. So let me let me zoom it in here and show you what I did because I've been noticing recently that when I crochet around when I'm using black yarn and I crochet around white yarn, it'll definitely show that white yarn through it. But see, what I did was I pulled through with this black yarn, and now I have this little tail end of of black yarn. Too. So I want to crochet around both this tail end and this white yarn. But when I crochet using this black yarn right here, and pull through and pull through, you'll see, see that little white poking through right there? The little white poking through my stitch. Well, I found that if I take my black yarn and I twist it so that the black yarn is in front of the white yarn like this. Well, hold on, I did it before. Maybe like this. Pull it up maybe. Well, it hides it a little bit better. You can't see that white yarn poking through as easy. A little pro tip that I figured out. A little pro tip that I figured out. That's for you. That's a free one. There we go. That's a free one for you. Okay, so now we are making our little beak for our flamingo burb. Our flamingo burb. Let's try to get the black yarn in front of the white yarn when I crochet around it. And then, oh wait, no, then we gotta turn, change to white. So we're gonna pull through with white. Boom, boom. Scoopity boopity. Scoopity boopity, as they say. All right, we're gonna put those to the side and keep going. Two. We almost got the flamingo's beak made. There we are. Yeah, of course. Okay. So me and my mom have been working on uh, a new, like we've been like kind of re making the burb patterns uh, so that they look a little bit more fancy pantsy and we want to publish it into a little book. It's been really fun. I've been working with my mom on just like teaching her how to use the program that I use and and we've just been learning like how how to make books basically. And it's been a lot of fun. I've never really gotten a chance to like work with my mom before and yeah, it's been fun. I like it a lot. So we're working on something. I don't know when it'll be out because we still have a little bit more ways to go. And I want to add a few more burbs to it. I want to add a humming burb. I want to add the macaw, um, things like that. So it'll probably be out eventually. I'm, I'm thinking at least 10. Let's see, how many burbs do we have so far? We got pigeon, chicken, turkey, pigeon, chicken, turkey, flamingo, barn owl, duck, Duck, seagull. Am I missing any? I think we have seven so far. And then I want to add hummingbird. I want to go to ten at least. So hummingbird, macaw, and maybe the toucan. That'll get to ten. I think that's a pretty good. That's a pretty solid roster of burbs. In my opinion so many plans for books I'm also working on uh, like I said a stitched book which is really cool maybe I could show you guys just like a well no it, I'm afraid my computer will go crazy cuz my computer's been all acting all weird and been acting crazy but and been acting crazy um, but yeah, I've been working on a stitched book and a uh, game, like a, a new, like a, an update to the game, basically. Um, if you don't know what stitched is, it's my tabletop game that you make. Uh, th it's my tabletop game that you can craft. Uh, uh, and you basically, you crochet little characters for it, and then you play a game. Uh, using those characters that you crochet 
Uh, it's make, using like goblins and trolls and stuff. And so I've been working on redoing the, the game into a more solid book that's split into multiple parts and then doing a version where you could buy it, where you could crochet them yourself, or you could buy one that you can have pop out pieces that you can color in and stuff. Uh, so it's been really complicated, honestly. Uh, we wanted to do the Kickstarter. We're gonna do a Kickstarter for it and we wanted to do it in August, but now I'm like, I can't do it. I can't do it in August. So then instead we're gonna do it, uh, we're pushing it back. I maybe even all the way to October because there's just so many things that I just didn't think about. So we're pushing it back a little bit, but uh, yeah. There's a little, 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 little detail for you. Um, Abby, that is a great question. I will answer your question in just a second. But before I answer your question, Dumb Dog Studios, thank you so much, dude. You went above and beyond, and I appreciate you. So thank you. And you know what? We're going to put out a special burp for you that isn't out yet. One that I haven't even, even come out with. Not even like, I haven't, I'm not, I don't even know if I'm going to come out with this one. Maybe I will, but it's a little bit more complicated than the other ones. We're that's right, a new owl, a different owl, a little a little smarty pants owl. So this is for you, Dumb Dog Studios. Where do you want it to be? Do you want to be on Team Squawk or Team Chirp? You let me know. He's gonna go right here in between, and you let me know which team you want your burb to be on. Oh, okay, and Abby, what program do I use for writing the book? I am using Adobe InDesign. Uh, that's what I use for mostly all of my pattern writing. Um, I also use, I pretty, I pretty much use all the Adobe products. I use Adobe Premiere and uh, After Effects for editing videos. I use Adobe Illustrator for making graphics and Photoshop for editing pictures. And obviously I use InDesign for editing the book. So Dumb Dog Studios, which team you want it on? You want it on Squawk. He's made his decision. Their decision, I should say. I don't know. I, I shouldn't. I shouldn't assume genders. Here you go. It is on teams. Your owl is on Team Squawk. Let me know if you got a name for your owl too. Claire. Claire is full on Team Squawk right now. Yeah, if you if you would like to name the burb that has been uh, that is on your team, you by golly you do it. And if it's a good enough name that I remember it, <laughs> then uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. How do I stream my face and crochet at the same time? Do I use two webcams? That's a great question. Coffee, coffee and crochet. So yes, I use two cameras. Um, so right here, this guy right there, that is a webcam, um, Logitech webcam that I have set up on a microphone stand actually. And then uh, there's two parts of the microphone stand. So there's one that goes straight up and then there's the other part that like you can bend like that. So with the part that goes straight up, the webcam's on that and then with the part that bends like that, I have a little like contraption that I've built with a camera camera so it's not a webcam it's actually a DSLR camera um, a big old camera that I bought and I connected it to my computer and so I streamed the hands with that one because it's got a bit better quality um, yeah but that's how I do it and then my microphone is on a, sep a, a secondary microphone stand holds my microphone up and then my computer's here so it's like I'm in this like little nook and then my light box yeah, maybe I'll do a little tour someday to show you how, how it kind of works. I feel that trip a little. Yeah, InDesign can be a little counterintuitive. It's the best program that I can use personally, unless I wanted to use like Illustrator maybe for creating patterns. Um, it's And I've been using it so long now that I just, I understand how it works really, really well. So I use it very often, um, but it can be a little bit counterintuitive. I can see, I can see where you're coming from there. 
Okay, so we actually have all of the parts of our burbs, of our burb made. And yes, you can stream with the DSLR, but only specific ones. So now we can work on the head of our burb. Um, the the one that I'm using is a uh, a Canon EO S7. I think that's what it's called. I'm trying to look for the yeah EOS. I think it's seven. You can you can use them to stream with. It took me a, a while to figure out how to get it to set up right, but um, yeah, it's really cool. I like it a lot. Okay. Yes, chirp a little. You're totally right. I hate that the shortcuts for that program don't match up with the other shortcuts. It is really annoying. Yeah, webcam's not bad. I, I do think that um, you might get better quality with your phone, uh, but the, um, yeah, it, the webcam's kind of like iffy. Depends on which webcam you use. Just use something that's at least 1080p, and you'll probably be, probably be fine. Oh, Dumb Dog Studios wants to call their owl Chunky Cheese. <laughs> that's so dumb. I love it. True to the name, dumb dog. True to the name. Uh, okay, so this is Chonky Cheese. <laughs> if anybody else has any requests for what they would like to name their burbs, uh, speak now. Tweet now or forever hold your tweet. One, two, three, four, five, six. We are making the head of our flamingo. Who knows? Maybe we'll have enough time this live stream to make another like a little mini burb too to go with our with our flamingo burb. What are you guys crocheting today? Is everybody is anybody else making burbs? Is anybody making um uh uh yeah, what are you guys what you making? What you making? Gast. That is a cool name. Who do you want to name Gast, Noodle? Looks like Gast would be a good name for like maybe the toucan. I can see that one being named Gast. Wow, yeah, that is warm. Ooh, Cooper's making the flamingo burb also. Sunshine's making pieces for a board game. That's so cool. Sunshine, I know, I know. I owe you, I owe you the di the lava run, uh, play test stuff. I know. Uh, if you are in the chat right now and you're like, "What the heck is Louie talking about?" So on top of my game stitched, I have been making some other board games too. Now I'm not nearly ready to announce like the games really, but I am working on a play test for uh, Lava Run, which is my other game in which you are a dinosaur running from a volcano uh it's very cool but uh the playtest isn't really out yet sunshine however has crocheted an entire like board for her game and it's very cool and it's crazy because i never even like she's just i think she's just kind of like reverse engineered it from uh videos where i've shown off the board and she's been like okay well i can make it then so i'm very impressed so i'm gonna send her the playtest and i want to I really want to like get the play test out there soon, like really soon. It's just like on top of all my other projects, it's it's really hard to keep up, you know. You know, there's like a million little projects, and that one is just so far in advance that it's like, it. I just know it's not. I'm not going to be finished it with with it for so long that I put it on the back burner, even though it shouldn't really go on the back burner. So, yeah. Abby. Oh wow. Okay, so. Abby, Abby Registar is making uh, the body for a sweater. That's crazy. I have never crocheted a sweater before. Very cool. Um, and then we got Irish making some ice cream. Abby number two is making a froggo. <laughs> well, well, I am noticing you, Abby. So welcome to the chat. Jane is making a flamingo burb. 
Crushing very slowly today. Only has done one wing. That's totally okay. I'll tell you what. I'll slow down for you, Jane. And Sarah's working on the temp blanket. That's a tough one to do. It, I feel like temp blankets this year are just going to be all red. <laughs> has not been very cold. At least in uh, many parts of, of America. Warm year. And I'm sure it's not going to be the first. Oh, Noodle, you made a mini octopus for your first amigurumi. Well, congratulations. That is a very cool pattern. You should check out the rocket. Um, this is the new, well, somewhat new rocket. I'm going to come out with it like the video tutorial this week as like a on, on YouTube for free. But yeah, you should check it out. It's a really good beginner pattern also. Uh, it does. It might not look that beginner friendly, but it really is. It's a very um, good beginner pattern. So check it out. You can find it just clubcrochet.com slash rocket. Uh, if you made the the octopus, you probably can make the, the rocket. Ooh, uh, that's a great idea, Chirp a Little. A coffee pain, a coffee verb. A, a coffee verb. Does anybody know how to shut off the fire alarm? A hammer. I hear hammers are really good for shutting off fire alarms. Or like more fire really helps a lot too. Just like uh, if you got like a flamethrower, just scorch that. And uh, I heard that that really turns off fire alarms. I really don't know how to turn off a fire alarm. Uh, I usually just rip them out of the wall and replace the battery. Which one's Coffee Pigeon? Oh, is this Coffee Pigeon? Oh, okay, so this is Coffee Pigeon that's name is Coffee. I like it. I like it, Chirp a Little. Good, good suggestion. Jane, I, lo I like that idea too. Rough draft of the Ankylosaurus pattern while we wait for Lava Run. I think that's a great idea. I owe you that. I know I do. I know I do. You know, maybe if I got the time today, I will put that Inkly source pattern uh, rough draft on the website. I have it like, um, I have the pictures done. I just don't have the pattern written at all. So it's just going to take a sec. And obviously that pattern's got like a lot of weird little things. So I'll work on something there. I got to work on next month's kit today too. I got to work on a million things. A million zillion things. And all I really want to do like all the time is play Super Smash Brothers. <laughs> not true. That is not true. I don't always want to play Super Smash Brothers, but I do like playing Super Smash Brothers quite a lot. So we're, I'm working on the eyes of our flamingo burb now. I was playing Super Smash Brothers last night. Man, whoo wee. I was, I was kicking butt. I needed a distraction. I was like kind of having a little mini stress panic attack thing. And I was like, I need something to get this energy out. Let's play Super Smash Brothers. And I was like, I'm kicking butt. Button not working. Oh, button on the, well, good luck there. I don't know how to help you there. Noodles managed a teddy bear Wow, a teddy bear, that's pretty good. And a whale, that's pretty good. A crocheted Cthulhu, very cool. Ooh, Skyward Sword, I should, is it out? Is Skyward Sword out already? I would love to get that. So Lava Run is very fun. It is a, um, you're essentially like building a board, uh, like a, a you're building like the ooh. every turn that you play you have to like create lava that flows and so you kind you the two ways to win the game are either be the first one to escape to the beach or be the last one surviving the lava flows so it can be a little bit brutal but it's very fun Hundred and seventeen degrees Fahrenheit, man. It, you know, it is hard. I don't know how people are denying climate change at this point because it's like hundred and seventeen Fahrenheit, the hottest day 
Is it the hottest day? Was it the hottest day ever? Record breaking heat. That's like enough heat to like melt a car. That's crazy, man. You legit could make an egg on the street with 150, 117 degrees Fahrenheit. That's how it's been really hot here in California, but not in San Francisco. San Francisco's got this little cloud of, of like a blanket above the city that protects us from this crazy heat wave. And I have been very, um, I felt very fortunate because of that. When did I show the lava run board? I don't know. I showed it once. Here, I can show you it again. Oh, it's actually, it's in the other room. I'll tell you what. Um, Abby, if you remind me after I finish this head to show the lava run board, I will go and grab it for you. If someone wants to remind me after I finish up the head of our flamingo burb. Now, hope all y'all are doing great today. Thank you guys so much again for joining me on a Sunday to crochet along with me. I'm going to start to, uh, I'm going to continue switching things up and doing one Sunday, one Wednesday for a little while. So the next live stream will again be on a Wednesday and we're, I'm going to probably do something a little bit different. I don't know what just yet, but something a little bit different for, for Wednesday live streams to kind of mix things up just for, just for fun. But thank you guys so much for joining me. You definitely make my Sundays a lot better. A lot better. Not that Sundays are bad. It's just, you know. If, if I didn't have y'all, I would probably uh, be sleeping. And that's not good. I don't want to sleep all day every day. I mean, I like, my brain wants to sleep all day. But, like, I don't want to do that. I want to I wanna hang out with you guys. The humidity is 92%. Dude, that's crazy. You get to like walk in a blanket of heat. That's what that's the sound I imagine you make when you're walking through that insane heat wave. Okay, so I've done round six. You know, I gotta start using the check marks. They're on the website and uh, using the PDFs, there's check marks for each of the um for each of the rounds. It's a great way to keep track of where you're at. Okay. Quick question, guys. Do you want, should we make our flamingo burb? Option option A. We can give our flamingo burb kind of crazy big old big old eyes like this. Okay, so we can either do it like that, so that he has like kind of like a, a bigger eyeballs. Or this, so he's got kind of silly little dumb little eyeballs. Which one do you guys want? Little eyeballs or big eyeballs? Little eyeballs or big eyeballs? Little eyeballs or big eyeballs? I'm keeping track of the chat. You let me know which one you want more. And I'm going to do one more round here, even though I should be adding the eyes right now. I'm going to do another round while I'm waiting for your suggestions. One... Abby says big eyeballs. Three. Big eyes. Hey, hey. Oh, wow. Oh, okay. So we got two little. We got like five, six, seven, eight. Big, 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 little. Hey. Wow. I think it sounds to me. Ooh, we're going to toss up. Okay. Cold blood adventure says big eyeballs. Oh man, what a, it is a toss up. I'm pretty sure Big Eyeballs is, is winning though. That <laughs> cat says one of each, that would be crazy. Be wild. <laughs> You're the best, Dumb Dog Studios. You're the best. Okay, so we're gonna go with big ones. It looks like more people wanted Big Eyeballs. Oh, we still got some more votes coming in though. Okay, that's the end of that round. I think that Big Eyeballs won out there. We're gonna go big ones. And then uh, we can add like a hat or something later. Okay, so we're gonna go 
Let's do the big ones on the inside here. Right like there. Okay. Now we need the eyes though. There we are. Oh, get get this. Okay, so if you like, you know, you know how I always have these this little like glass jar thing with my eyes in it. Um, I'm actually getting these made. Uh, it's gonna be a little bit shorter. They're gonna be about that big. Uh, but th it's gonna have an engraving on the top for the Club Crochet logo, and we're gonna sell them for like um, uh, with like a hundred eyeballs in it. So you can get a bunch of eyes uh, in with a little container. Um, uh, I'm getting them made. I thought it was pretty cool. Uh, the, I don't know when they're gonna be out, but I thought it was really cool. And uh, yeah, if you if you like that idea, uh, let me know. Let me know because I, I'm pretty excited about it to be honest. I figured if if we don't sell too many uh, in like the shop and stuff, maybe I could sell them to like yarn stores because I think some yarn stores would really like that. So, yeah. Sarah says, "Wow, is that an owl burp?" Yes. Which ones? We got a barn owl over here, and we got a uh, like a like regular owl over here. Regular owl, like a like a what kind of owl are those called? Like a like a a Leica owl. <laughs> I don't know. An owl, though. Okay, so now we're adding a secondary eye right here. I'm thinking that maybe I could add them to, like... Well, okay. Do we have any Club Crochet Pro members in the chat right now? I'd love to get your advice. If you are a Club Crochet Pro member, um, let me know. If you're in the chat and you're a Club Crochet Pro member, let me know. Because... I'm thinking what might be kind of cool is to do a somewhat small crochet kit one month where it's like um, like something small like maybe we make like one dinosaur instead of doing like a big one where there's a bunch of dinosaurs and because the kit is pretty small in addition to that you get like uh, the the little thing with all the eyeballs in it so to be like um, you know you get a little notion instead of instead of just a crochet kit what do you think about that? If you're a pro member, let me know. Because I'm not sure if that would be, if people would like that or not. Maybe I'll give people the option. You can choose to do that, A or B. Something like that. Okay, now I'm adding our burb beak. Or, I mean, our flamingo beak. The flamingo beak is, like, crazy easy to add on to. Check this out. Look how quick I'm going to add it on. So, the first part, you just sew onto the top of the spiked bobble, right? Like that. And then the second part, you just go in through one side of the bobble and then come out through the other side. Like this. And then you just go around the stitch on one side of the beak. Like that. You go back in and then out through the other side. And then you do it again, and that's it. They take it takes like I love how easy it is to sew these on. Is what I'm trying to say. Like this. Boom. Flamingo burb beak sewn on. And of course we should like tweak it, make sure we like the way it is positioned. But I just love how simple that is. Simple dimple, simple as a dimple's pimple. Yeah, I, I get that trip a little. You know what? Maybe I can try to like stock kits in the in the EU, um, and and get them shipped out from there. That would be really cool. I'll I'll consider it. Um, obviously that's gonna be like quite a lot of work, but I do think it would be neat, at least with like some kits and stuff. But yeah, I know that the the VAT thing the VAT is uh is a bummer it is a bummer for me too so I, I hear that does my patterns come with the to come to the UK um, the patterns well because all the patterns are digital I guess like yes but I don't do UK terms in my patterns Maybe I should. I don't know. What do you guys think? I mean, I should probably do that. That'd be kind of cool. 
Hey, real quick. If you haven't yet, please like this video. Give it a like down below. Subscribe to the channel if, you ha if you're not subscribed. We currently have... Whoa! It already has 142 likes. That's crazy. That is crazy. A penguin burb. I, you know, Sarah, I really should do a penguin burb. I really should. Okay, let's keep let's keep on keeping on, huh? Yeah, yeah. Ooh, I'm trying to crack my neck. Yeah, most patterns are, yeah. yeah. Also, I mean, to be honest, to all you UK residents out there, uh, your terms for crochet are weird to me. Like, a double crochet is a single crochet, and a single crochet is a slip stitch, and a, it's just like, I mean, to be fair, US terms are also weird. Like, what is a half double? Half double crochet, what are you talking about? But I still think they're a little bit easier to understand than UK terms. Sometimes. But that's just my preference. That's just my opinion. Everybody's got one. Like a butt. What is an MR? Uh, kitten... Kitten says, do you use fluffy yarn for any of them? Uh, I have, I used to use fluffy yarn a lot. Like a lot, lot. Um, I should get into using fluffy yarn again. I really want to start doing my like Monster Monday thing again. Um, it, for, for long, long time fans, Monster Monday uh, was a series I did on my other YouTube channel, Louie's Loops. That's my channel that was started prior to Club Crochet. Um, and on that channel, I would do Monster Mondays, where every Monday I would take a drawing that I did of a monster that I made, and then I'll, I turn it, I crochet it. And people would submit drawings, and then I would draw, I would crochet those drawings. It was really, really cool. It was pretty difficult, so I don't think I want to do it every week like I used to do, but it would be a nice thing to have. It would be a nice thing to have. Oh, magic ring and MR magic ring. Um, tr maybe, hey, kitten, try using the new-ish magic ring method that I talk about in my new, uh, in my newer video. Um, it is done like this. This magic ring, in my opinion, is a lot easier. You take the yarn, you hold it downwards, and you hold it down with your ring and pinky finger, with your two, your index and your middle finger sticking up. And then you go around them twice and you make an X on one side and two parallel lines on the other side like that. And then you take this end and place it between. So you hold it into place like that. So now you have an X on one side, two parallel lines on the other. And then you take your crochet hook, you go under the first parallel line and hook onto the second one, pull it under and then do a loop like this. And then you yarn over with that same end that you go over this first bar, yarn over with the second bar. Usually I need my index finger to help me guide that on there. And then you pull it through like that. And it makes a magic loop that's way easier. It's like just so, it's there's not as much like moving parts as my other magic ring. Um, if you want to learn more about that, I have a video. I think it's just at magic loop, uh, clubcrochet.com slash magic loop. Um, and it, it's a lot more detailed of, of a description on how it works. Uh, I think it would probably be a lot easier. It might, it, might, it might solve some issues, maybe. Worth a shot, in my opinion. Good luck. Hello, Stella. That's what, that's what Tasty Food said, so I just agreed. Oh, Stella's right above him. Hi, Stella. It keeps snapping. Okay, well, if it's snapping, actually watch that video regardless because it. I talk about if your yarn snaps, you want to use this method instead. Yeah, so you got a few options there. Okay, so now I am on to... 
I just finished round eight. Okay, two more rounds of single crochets for our head here. Now, I don't need your opinion just yet, but I do want y'all to start um, start to brainstorm some ideas here because I think it'd be really fun to add a hat to our flamingo. But what kind of hat would a flamingo wear? Maybe a fez? Maybe a... Maybe a chef hat? Oh, I don't know. But let me know. If you can think of a good idea for a hat, I'll make one at the end of this live stream. Ooh, yeah, listen to Jane there. Jane had a really good tip. I like that. Fedora. Ooh, a fedora would be funny. Hey, Takoyaki. Welcome. What is a flamenco hat? I mean, it's basically a flamingo hat. Let's see. Flamen flamenco hat your excuse me uh oh ding 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 chirp a little is a genius that's what we're gonna do we're gonna give a, our flamingo a flamenco a flamingo wearing a flamenco what's another what's a great oh, man that's great. I like it. I love it. A flamingo and a flamenco. Should we do it with those little, um, like where it's got the red and then like the little line, like the little balls like hanging off the side of it? Maybe. Perhaps. Perhaps. Ooh, a Russian doll burb set. That would be funny. Especially if I made a little tiny burb. But you're thinking like a mask on a mask on a mask kind of thing. It might be tough, though. But that would be cool. What's a famous Russian bird? What kind of birds do Russia does Russia have? Because I can't imagine I can't I can't imagine it's that easy to be a bird in Russia because it's probably really cold. I guess Russia's huge, but. Most of it's cold. Okay, I'm gonna I'm stuffing up the head just a little bit because it's becoming a little um, argumentative. That's what I'm gonna say. The head is becoming argumentative. So we're gonna try stuffing it up a little bit. The stuffing is is argumentative too. It doesn't want to go in. Oh, it's great. That's a great, great idea, Trip a Little. I love it. I love it. You're a genius. You're a genius, an evil genius, but a genius nonetheless. I have never heard, I, I've definitely seen a flamenco before, but I've never known that that is what that hat is called. Flamingo with a flamenco. A flamingo with a flamenco. Russia has a lot of pigeons. All right. A robin bird. Migrate to Malta every year. You know, I, yeah, I got to do a robin. I would also, I think a sparrow would be really good too. A sparrow and a robin. Yeah. The caption winner will be announced, Abby. Uh, I think I'm going to announce it later this week, maybe on Tuesday. Uh, simply because I want other people to get a chance to enter to win it too. Unless I get one that's like crazy good today. Um, 
Uh, but yeah, I think by the end of the week. By the way, what she's talking about here, let me put it on screen right now. Um, you, If you are interested and you would like to try to win three months of a membership to Club Crochet, you can do so. I have a giveaway right now. All you got to do is caption this photo. So I think this photo just looks so funny to me. It looks like this flamingo is is just learning that this flamingo isn't really a flamingo. Instead, it's a burb. So I think that it just seems so funny. Like this one's maybe going like, wait, what? Or like, like, I don't know. I don't know. Something funny. And then this one's maybe saying something surprised like, ah, uh, so if you have something that would be funny for this caption, go ahead and caption it. Go ahead and caption it at by going to clubcrochet.com slash caption and enter what you think would be a funny caption and the best one will win three months of a membership. Now that is best one, my opinion, personally my opinion. So uh, if you're like disagree with my opinion, well, um, it, you're not running the giveaway I am. So haha. -ha. <laughs> Make me laugh. Think about my sense of humor. If you've been watching these live streams a lot, you know I have a very weird sense of humor. A T-Rex burb. I, so, you know, I think a dragon burb would be really, really fun. I think someone said a dragon burb a week or so ago, and I am so for it. I think that's hilarious. Is there multiple entries? Um... I guess you can do multiple entries, but don't do make them good. If you're gonna do more than one, they better be good. Oh, I'm excited to make a flamenco for this flamingo. Okay, so I think this would be 15. Okay, so the head is coming along quite nicely. What else do people that wear flamencos wear? Is there any other like kind of um, addition we should put on our flamingo? One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, we're good. I just needed to make sure that I was on count, but I think I am. Uh, Cold Blooded Adventure says, when is the dragon pattern coming out? ASAP, I'm working on it. I am working on it. Um. The kit, so I was going to do the dragon as the kit for August, but now I have to move it back. Um, instead, for August, we're going to be doing the uh, relic from Stitched. It kind of looks like a tiki mask a little bit. Um, it definitely has some tiki inspiration, some, some tropical uh, Pacific Islander inspiration. Uh, it also has some inspiration from a totem, uh, like um, from uh, Native American culture, uh, specifically North Native American culture. I'm very, uh, uh, I studied anthropology a lot, so I've always been a very big fan of totem culture. So it has a lot of that kind of inspiration. So this month's kit is going to be for a totem. Uh, if you would like to, or, or I mean for a relic is what I call it. It's for stitched specifically, but it has totem and tiki uh, inspirations to it. Um, so if you would like to add, get the the um, kit for this, this is going to be next month's pro membership kit. Um, and there's going to be some other like special things about it that I'm not really ready to announce yet, but it'll be very cool. I'm very excited about it. Uh, so this is going to be next month's kit for August. And then for September, we're going to be doing the dragon kit. So the dragon should be out. Uh, I'm, I really want it to be out by September 1st, um, but maybe a little bit sooner. Yeah. So that uh, there's your little there's your little info about that. Whoop. OK, so I got a few more rounds here for the head. Yeah, I've actually I've been doing a lot of research into um, into uh, the history of tiki masks and um, totems and stuff. I I did research that quite a lot when I was in college, uh, but um, with all of the stuff going on in Canada right now, um, if you're not aware, there's a lot of uh, um, 
bad stuff about Native Americans uh, that have been uncovered. Uh, look into it if you would like to learn more about it. I think you should. It's, it's very um, important stuff to know. But with that, I really want to wanted to learn more about totem culture because it is a North American uh, Native um, uh, you know, cultural signifier. So I really like to learn about um, specifically about culture stuff because of my anthropology uh, degree in nature and stuff. I'm just interested in that. Okay, Abby, that is a good. Thank you for that information. I'm going to fix that right now for you. Abby says that you can only do one. I'm going to remove that limitation. There you go. I fixed it. You should be able to do multiple submissions now uh, for the uh, Flamingo Burb. Oh, that's a good one. That's a good one. When you find <laughs> So far, I really like April Thoughts. If you are in the chat right now, that's a good start. That's a good start. I'm not going to say what it is, but it's a good start. Just in case someone tries to, like, I don't know, steal it or something. I don't know. But it's a good start for the submission. Uh, Layla's Creation, are you going to do a crochet tutorial? Yes, actually, a crochet tutorial is already done. Layla, if you would like to go to the crochet tutorial, it is free for, I think, like today only. Um, you can find it right here by going to clubcrochet.com slash flamingo. Uh, I have the pattern there available for free, and it has a video tutorial as well. There is quite a lot of stuff going on here, Cooperlicious. Sorry about that. I'm, if it's getting a little much, I'll chill out. Yes, there's a lot of little moving parts here. Um, but yes, you can find the crochet tutorial there. Hey, Claire, welcome back. Maybe we'll we'll chill out a little bit after I finish the head here for our flamingo. All right. How can you submit? Uh, you can submit here. Let me put on the corner information right there. Um, so there is your information. You can submit to enter to win by going to clubcrochet.com slash caption. That should also be in the description of this video. There should be a link. It's the third link down. Um, and it should take you straight to the form where you can submit your captions. And then my favorite one will get a free three-month membership to Club Crochet. And if you're already a Club Crochet member and, and you win, you're going to get a gift card to use in the shop. So enter to win regardless. Oh, dude, Layla, that's awesome. That is very cool. Wow, you got a lot to make. Did you make the, uh, did, have you already made the sloth? I think the sloth would be a very good addition to the zoo. To your zoo. Isn't zoo just a great word? It's just such a good word. Zoo. What would the letter Z be without the word zoo? Would anybody use the letter Z? I feel like barely anybody used the letter Z anyhow. Except for zoo and zebra. I mean, even xylophone. Xylophone doesn't even have a... Xylophone's a poser, in my opinion. Wait. That's a slip stitch. Got it. Oh, you already did. That's awesome. This song is intense. Oh, we got a new submission here. Team Chirp needs a bald eagle. Jane, I agree 
wholeheartedly. Jane, thank you so much for your donation. And because of that, we are going to place our bald eagle burb. <laughs> that was a weird call. Um, our bald eagle burb on to Cheem Chirp. I like, you know what I really like about the bald eagle burb? Is the eyebrow. Can you see it? See how the eyebrow, he's got like this little eyebrow over it. It's very inspired by, um, do you know the bald eagle from the Muppets? Uh, uh, his name is Sam, Sam the Eagle. Uh, he's got this really solid brow that goes over like this. Oh! So that is where the inspiration comes from. So that's going to be on Team Chirp. We've got quite a battle brewing. A brewing battle. I feel like each one should have like a superpower or something. Okay, so we've finished our head. Let's go ahead and cut it. Sew it together a little bit and then work on the burb body. We'll have a sip of coffee first. All of us will. If you don't have a coffee yet, go get one because I'm gonna drink it right now. And I need to drink your coffee too. Or tea or water. Just take a sip of something, you know, hydrate, hydrate yourself. Everybody needs to hydrate sometimes. Take that team squawk, says Jane. <laughs> Gotta love pitting, pitting the, the live stream against each other, you know? <laughs> Chunky cheese is better. That's what Dumb Dog Studio says. This is Chunky Cheese, if anybody's curious. He has named his owl Chunky Cheese. Really great name, honestly. Okay, so we got the head of our flamingo done. We'll place that right there. It'll be right in between the two teams. They're they're fighting. They're fighting to see who gets who gets the flamingo. Wait, that's not fair. We gotta do we gotta do it like this. That. There we go. There we go. Okay. Coffee time. Jay. Jay, thank you. I'll go grab it. Okay. Take your sip of coffee or your sip of water or tea or LaCroix or Bloody Mary. Whatever you want. You drink it right now. And I'm going to go get the... the the board for Lava Run to show off to you real quick. One sec. I found, I found someone that wants to say hi. He found a girlfriend. A girlfriend. About I found... time. <laughs> it took me long enough. <laughs> Hi, this everyone. Is... By the way, if you're not aware, this is Jules, my girlfriend. Yes. If yes. you uh, are subscribed to Club Crochet, you might have seen um, one of our podcast episodes. The Loop and Pearl Podcast. The Loop and Pearl Podcast, where I talk about knitting. And I talk about crocheting. And how much we love each other. That, too. Yuck nasty. Yeah. So she just <laughs> got back from, uh, from, from seeing her... Her nieces. My little nieces. Yes. And they ha they requested that I show <gasps> off the yes. Lava Run board. So this is the Lava Run board. There we go. There we go. Kind of shiny. Kind of shiny. Can you see? There's the bottom of it. There's the beach. Yeah. You, you the, the game is you try to get to be the first one to get to the beach mm -hmm. or the last one surviving. And this and whole look, board. There's the logo. Wait. Yeah, there's, where's my finger? There. There's the start of the logo. Lava Run. Isn't that cool? So it's not done yet. I'm going to be coming out with a playtest soon-ish. Mm -hmm. um, Sunshine in the chat uh, uh, crocheted her own board. And so I definitely owe her a playtest. Yes, think that's you do. Um, someone called me the best in the chat. Uh, Dumb Dog Studios. Which is Thank silly you. because I'm the best. So. Oh, oh, that's yeah, well. really cute that you think that. Yeah, well. <laughs> <laughs> we, we tease each other a lot. Look, we got Team huh? Squawk. Uh -huh. And this is Team Chirp cute so 
And you're so making a flamingo? Is going pretty good so far. Yeah, we're flamingo making a flamingo burp. burp, and he's going to be wearing a flamenco. You know what a flamenco is? Oh, yes. It's also a I dance. Didn't know, I didn't know a flamenco was a hat. I knew what it was. Oh, I thought you were talking about the garment like that they wear when no, they like flamenco this. dance. It's going to be this hat. Oh. It's called a oh, flamenco. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. They wear that. Well, they, yes. Yeah. Okay. So, so... So I was like, "What kind of hat should we add to it?" And then someone was like, "Flamenco hat." Are you gonna make a little little bobbles? Yeah, I think I think Cute. I'm gonna make little yeah, exactly little bobbles or something on the bottom of it. I don't know. We're gonna figure it out. We gotta do the body of the burb first. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Hi everybody. Um, I just got back from a very long drive. I was stuck in traffic forever, so I'm gonna go lie down. Okay, you gonna play then... Animal Crossing? Yes. Yes. And then probably knit. Well, enjoy Animal Crossing if bye, you have everyone. um, if you wanna. Yeah, I'm bringing them. <laughs> Ah, bye. Bye. <laughs> yeah, who knows? Yeah. You probably you probably were. Jimbo's the best. That's what they say. Jimbo. Jimbo is pretty great. I won't lie. Okay, one more one more shipper curfew and then we'll get back to it. And hey, again, if you haven't yet, please like down below, like, subscribe, all that fun stuff. And if you are well, hold on. Hold on. Mm, okay. If um, if you do end up signing for a Club Crochet Pro membership, I get emails whenever people sign up for memberships. Not a pro membership, any kind of membership. I'll put a burb out for you if you do a membership as well. We haven't gotten any yet, so I didn't miss anything. But if you do, if you would like to, you can learn more about what that means by just going to clubcrochet.com. Okie dokie. What did you think about the board, by the way? What did you think about the Lava Run board? It's pretty cool, right? It looks pretty nice. My friend helped me illustrate it. And there's there's changes that I'm going to have to make to this board um, just for simplicity of, like, recognizing things. But it's not a bad start. Um, you'd understand. You'd understand if you played it. Uh, and you will play it one of these days. Okay. Now I'm on to the burb's body, if you're crocheting along with me. We're making a burb's body. The burb a body. The burb a body. Tango the Toucan. Tango the Toucan. That is a perfect name. Tango the Toucan. I love it. I love it. Tango the toucan. Toucan tango the toucan. Tango. <laughs> One, two, three, four, five, six. There we are. Yeah, little goals. Why do I like doing weird voices so much? I don't know because he do. Yeah, I am gonna go. Toucan tango, tango to tango. Toucan play of that game. Tango toucan. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so we are working on the burb sturdy there. And I'm actually really quick at making bird bodies because I've made so many of them. So I'll probably fly through this, which is probably good since we got to make our flamenco hat as well. Um, we're definitely going to do a big flamenco hat for our flamingo, but maybe we can make a little miniature one too for the for the burb on the inside. We'll see how long the, the big one takes. Abby, hello again. Do I use... D did I did I try to use glue for any of my amigurumi projects? Okay, wait. So let me read this whole comment that Abby said. Um, she says, "Hello again. I know sewing parts together is way too much rather than just using glue to attach. Did did I try using glue for any of my amigurumi projects? Thank you. I have tried using glue um, before. I am definitely not a fan of gluing my projects together for a great variety of reasons. First off." If you mess up, too bad. Make it all again. You can't undo glue. Um, specifically with crochet projects, if you glue it, that's permanent. 
uh, which is not the case for for sewing things on. Like I could remove this thing and you wouldn't even be able to tell that I sewed it on already. Uh, so that is reason, big reason one. Two is it's very easy to mess up glue um, because it is, especially, especially with like hot glue, it's so stringy, it's hard to like, it's just really hard to use. It's also very difficult to glue um, fabric together, so you can't use like Elmer glue because the, because the, um, the yarn like absorbs the glue. You can use hot glue, but again, hot glue is a lot messier and more difficult to use. Um, it's also more dangerous because you, you can burn your hand, which I have done many times. Uh, and to me, it just doesn't look as good. I think it looks better when it's sewn on, and there's this level of like art, artistry ship, or you know, like it's 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 more. Um, it feels more handmade when you use, when you actually use, uh, when you sew things together. Uh, whereas glue, I don't know. I just not a big fan of using glue. Now that being said, when I'm using felt, which I don't use too often, but when I do use felt, it is a lot better to glue on felt than it is to sew it on because it's just so much of a hassle. Ha! So much of a hassle, pun intended, to uh, add on felt by sewing things together. But yeah, there's my two cents for uh, for gluing. I hope that uh, is what you're looking for. Maybe, I don't know. Um, I mean, I'm not trying to knock people that use glue. If you would like to use glue to make your Ami Groomy, you know, more power to you, you do you. That's just my personal opinion. Yeah, if anybody else has other opinions about gluing projects together, please let me know in the chat. I am reading it. Dancing with the burbs. Ooh. Ooh, I like that idea, sunshine. Trees and rocks to l slow the dinosaurs down. That's fun. One. Two. Jay Simper. Can you get a suggestion for your first project? And how long do you take for one project? I kind of want to make a tote bag, but the but I don't know where to start. There's so many cool patterns. You know what? That's funny you say that. Um, Jules is actually working on a tote bag pattern for the Club Crochet site. So uh, I might have a tote bag pattern for you soonish. Um, uh, but how long? How long do I take for one project? Personally. I really like making projects really quick where you can make them in one sitting. You don't have to like start them and make them throughout a week. Instead, I like to do ones where it's already, um, it's, uh, it's, sorry, I got distracted. Uh, I like to make ones where you can do it in one sitting like this flamingo here. So it just takes about an hour, maybe two hours, uh, to make, um, a good, project for your first project uh maybe not a tote bag because they do take a while and there's a lot of opportunities for you to make mistakes that's one of the reasons why i really like uh suggesting small amigurumi for your first project because even if you spend like 30 minutes doing it and you mess up well that's only 30 minutes wasted if you mess up the tote bag three hours in well that sucks because now you got to go back pretty far um yeah, so so there's my big suggestion is that I think that making amigurumi is always the best. Uh, for your first projects, try the new octopus pattern out. It's a great first project. It's very easy. Um, it's great for beginners. Uh, another good suggestion is this rocket pattern. Um, you can find the octopus pattern at clubcrochet.com slash octopus or just by browsing the uh, page. Um, the rocket ship is also a great pattern. You can find this at clubcrochet.com slash rocket. Great for beginners. Um, it's got a lot of techniques for uh, uh, for advancing your crochet as well. You use some different kinds of stitches and stuff, so you can learn some new stitches. If you are a more advanced crocheter, it might be good for you as well. I really put some effort into designing this pattern to be really good for beginners and for uh, crocheters that have already been doing it by adding some new techniques. So I like both of those patterns quite a lot for especially for um, first projects 
Oh, the dinosaurs too. The Triceratops is a great one. Um, it may not be super duper beginner friendly, but it is very fun to make and quick, like half an hour, maybe an hour for, for that project. Hope that answers your question. Chonky and Tango. Chonky cheese and two, Toucan Tango. Tango Toucan. Okay, where was I? Ah. I see. Six. Boom, baby. You're very welcome, Jay. Let me know if you got any other questions. I am absolutely happy to answer them. <laughs> yeah, that is true, Takayaki. After the pandemic, I have enough burbs to take over, really just to take over anywhere. Um, yeah, we have an army of burbs here. The T-Rex is a great pattern. I do really like the T-Rex pattern. I wouldn't say that the T-Rex is great for beginners. Um, it is a more advanced pattern because you do have to do like, there's just like things involved. It's not like one piece. You do have to sew pieces together. There are some more advanced crochet techniques in it. So it's maybe not great for a beginner, but it is an awesome pattern. Maybe one of my favorite patterns I've ever uh, uh, invented, you know, but Maybe not great for beginners, but a great pattern nonetheless. Maggie, hello, welcome. Music is intense, huh? Yeah, yeah. That's how I think you should react to this music. Yeah, yeah. A peacock burb. Claire, you're totally right. I was thinking that um, this week, actually. I was like, you know, I can't believe I haven't done a flamingo. Or, I mean, a peacock yet. I'm a little nervous about doing a peacock tail, but I think I could do something pretty cool. Like, by using a, like, maybe kind of working off of the turkey. So, this is the turkey burb. So, maybe kind of working off of this turkey tail, but doing it more for a peacock tail. By doing, like, color changes up here. That could be really, really cool, right? So I think that's a really good idea. I'm going to uh, brainstorm it a little bit more, but I do think that's a really good idea. Oh yeah, that's a great suggestion too, Sarah. Um, Sarah says that beginner projects follow, beginning projects follow Crocheting 101. Yeah, so Crocheting 101 is my uh, beginner series that teaches you like how to crochet. Um, it is, it is more it goes more through like all of the techniques for crochet so it's not great for if you just want like a crash course to learn how to crochet right away but it's great for learning like any of the techniques for crochet that you might need later on and throughout crocheting 101 if you take it chapter by chapter it's built so that it's like slowly progressing where you learn to crochet um you learn the very beginning th techniques and then after every chapter, there's a new project that you make that uses the technique that you have just learned to put into practice and make something. All the projects are very beginner friendly and it slowly builds you up. So it's a great way to um, slowly build up in patterns rather than going straight to like a new pattern that you don't know at all. It'll like kind of, um, kind of like, you know, spoon feed you how to crochet <laughs> one step at a time. Uh, I really like it a lot. I th one of my big goals for teaching how to crochet and just teaching in general is that I really try to put effort into making it so that no matter what kind of learner you are, uh, I know pe some people are very visual learners. They like videos a lot. Some people really like to read uh, and learn that way. Some people really like to learn by trying, like just jumping straight into it. So one of the Oh, whoopsies, I pulled that way too tight. One of the, um, I guess like ideals, like goals to club crochet is that, um, like I say, anybody can be a hooker, anybody. So if you wanna learn how to crochet, no worries. I will try to teach you how to crochet um, uh, in a variety of different techniques and ways so that it doesn't matter what your learning preference, um, you can learn it with club crochet. 
that's kind of like the like mantra or the goal for club crochet um so yeah uh my mom was a teacher uh she taught high school forever and so she kind of instilled that idea that like people learn in different ways and if you want to teach you've got to be willing to um teach in different ways too so that is i i've definitely kind of um adopted that mindset when it comes to cr club crochet Okay, so we got a boy beak on there. Ooh, a stork burb would be cool. Or like a pelican burb, that would be cool too. Yeah, I guess, is a stork a pelican? No, they're different. They're different. Storks have skinny, long noses, and pelicans have those big old mouths. So that'd be really cool. Um, yeah, but a stork would be really cool. Some Animal Crossing villagers. Yes, of course that would be cool. I definitely would like to do that. Um, someone asked, oh, Claire, how did I get into crochet? Uh, by the way, if you're crocheting along with me, I am adding uh, the face onto our burb edition right now. Um, so this is the, the part that goes under the head of our flamingo. I'm gonna go ahead and add our eyes. Now I like using six millimeter eyes when it when I make um, the eyes for the burb, whereas I used eight millimeter eyes for these ones, and that was per your guys' suggestion because we wanted to get a little bit more bug-eyed uh, flamingo going on here. Uh, but just so you know, I'm using slightly smaller eyes for the burb version because those big eyes look a little weird on this little character. So, just giving you that heads up. Um, but yes. Uh, oh, sure, a little sure, no problem. This is the mini burb that. Here, let me go ahead and zoom in for you. Even. Fix the focus. There's your mini burb right there. Um, it is. I think the pattern actually is in the rough drafts on the website. It's a very simple pattern. It's basically you're sewing on the. It's it's almost it's almost like this burb body pattern, but made with embroidery thread instead. Uh, and the wings are a little bit different. Um, the pattern is on the website somewhere, but yeah. Very, ooh, sorry, bud. Yeah, there you go, trip a little. Very itty bitty teeny tiny. Put that back on the head there. Get back to it. So teeny itty bitty tiny whiny. I, yeah, I want to make more of those little ones. That'd be a good idea. Um, yeah, okay, so someone asked, how did I get into crochet? Uh, and I have answered this in live streams pretty often, but I'll go ahead and answer it again. Might as well. When I was in high school, I got really crafty just in general. Um, I got, I started making, uh, like, uh, notebooks for friends. I would make a lot of mix CDs back when you could use CDs. Uh, just got really crafty making just things out of arts and crafts and then i found something crocheted online and i was like you can make a doll out of yarn that's awesome so i lived right next to a joanne fabrics so i went over to joanne i bought some crochet materials i came back i learned how to do the single crochet which is the stitch that i'm currently doing and that is all that i learned i, <laughs> I just learned how to do the single crochet on uh, by using a youtube video and then after that, I just started making stitches up. So I just would be like, okay, well, what happens if you put two single crochets into one place? Or what happens if you put, if you do a yarn over before you enter the stitch? And it turned out I was making up stitches that were already made up. So there was like the half double crochet and stuff like that. Um, but in that prog, uh, in that, in that, uh, you know, time that I was making those, uh, I, I did make up some weird stitches like like a mini pico and stuff like that um but yeah that's how i first got into crochet and i was obsessed i just started crocheting in every single class that i had in high school i would crochet in because the teachers couldn't really stop me because i was like in, i would sit in the back of the class and crochet and and i would still participate in class so yeah i really liked to crochet in school and uh 
honestly, I used crochet often when I was in high school to ask out people. <laughs> so I'd crochet like a little, uh, I'd crochet like a little owl or something and I'd give it to a girl that I had a crush on and be like, hey, do you wanna go on a date? And it did work. I did go out uh, with one girl that I definitely had a big crush on. Uh, the relationship was weird. It lasted three years, so it was a long relationship, but um, re relationship wasn't great, but I did get crochet out of it, so. The winner, winner. Okay, so I am on to, uh, if you're crocheting along with me, I am on to round 10 of the bird body, which is actually near the end of the body. Hello again, the creative sheep. Welcome. You know, Disney princesses would be fun. I am trying to avoid doing too many um, crochet, crocheted uh, uh, characters from that are copywritten. So I, I have been trying to avoid doing like people from Marvel characters and stuff like that if I can avoid it, uh, just because like it's best. It's best to not poke the poke the dragon, you know, just in case. I have gotten cease and desists in the past from companies, so you know, best not to push those push those limits if I don't have to. So I don't know if Disney princesses will be in the future, but uh, uh, I definitely want to do a tutorial where it teaches you how to make your own um, uh, uh, pod person, which is what I call my little. Pod people. Here's here's a pod person of Jules. Actually, I have one right here. This is Jules. So I want to create a tutorial that teaches you how to make your own pod person uh, for yourself. I actually made her into a little finger puppet too. Well, her eyes get all weird there, but yeah. So that'll be the best way to be like, hey, here's make princesses with this, you know? <laughs> okay, I'm gonna sew on our wings now. Welcome to the divine of divine. Oh, divine rose. Welcome. I didn't see you. Hello. Welcome. Okay. I think, you know what? Before I sew these on, here's the thing. I, Hey, Danielle, Daniela, I see your comment. Uh, you don't need to spam the chat there. Um, so please don't do that. Uh, yep, you got put on timeout, so please don't spam the chat. I do see your comment about doing uh, Animal Crossing Villagers. I will work on something there. Um, it's more difficult to do those kind of patterns than other patterns. And like I was saying about copyright, I kind of try to avoid it if I can. Um, but perhaps, yes, perhaps in the future, I will put more effort into, into thinking about just Animal Crossing themed patterns in general. Okay, now before I continue... Uh, on this, I need to uh, go to the bathroom. So I'll be right back <laughs> really quick. Uh, but in the meantime, if you would like to think about something good, go ahead and if you haven't yet, think of a good caption for this picture. If you submit a good caption that I think is really funny, uh, I'll give you a, I'll give you a, a three free months of Club Crochet membership, which gives you like all my patterns. So think about that and I'll be right back.
Okie dokie, I'm back. I just need to grab some red yarn for our flamenco hat. Where do I keep my red yarn? There's the asking the important question. Where did I put my red yarn? Chirp a little, where'd you put my red yarn? Divine Rose. Oh, oh, oh. Quick send hearts while Lou's away. <laughs> Miniature nesting. Okay, let me get some red yarn. Where did I put my red yarn? Now? It's in here. Yeah, there it is. Okay. There we go. I got some red yarn for a flamenco hat. We'll need that in a second. Okay. I think I got enough black yarn for it, though. What? Claire, you're done. What'd you make? Oh, your axolotl? You made an, a giant axolotl? That's freaking awesome. Okay. That is really cool. That would be a fun pattern to do. Maybe I'll do an axolotl eventually. That would be pretty cute. Pretty cute, pretty fun. I like the idea. All right, so I'm just gonna go ahead and sew on our wings now. Like right here to right there maybe. So I like the idea of going in. Yeah, yeah we're going to go like this. Well, actually, maybe we'll go here. Whoa, six foot? Claire. That is crazy. Can you send a picture? Can you put a picture in the Discord channel? Um, by the way, if you haven't, if you didn't know yet, oh, let me hide this. If you didn't know yet, um, I couldn't see the chirp sign. If you didn't know yet, uh, they, we do have a Club Crochet Discord channel. You can find it by just going to clubcrochet.com slash discord. There's a link in the description of this video too. Uh, and if you would like to, uh, Claire, I would very much like to see that six foot axolotl because that's crazy. Um, and there's a part, there's a channel in that Discord channel, call, or in that Discord called um, uh, 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 Look What I Made. I'd love for you to put it there. I really, really want to see that crazy axolotl. That sounds insane. And you deserve credit. If it's that big, that you deserve credit. Oh, okay. Well, if you can't, you can't. That's all right, too. We also have a Facebook group if you want to join the Facebook group and put it there, too. Links for all that is in the description. And we have a subreddit, too. You can post it on the subreddit. The subreddit doesn't need to be Club Crochet Pattern. You can just post whatever you want there. Uh, and that's just reddit.com slash r slash club crochet. But regardless, that's very cool. Eleven PM in the UK and it's too hot to sleep. Yikes. Well good luck good luck there. That's a bummer. But I'll keep you company for a little while. Um okay, so we got our wing. Just like the left wing dove. Alright. Let's add our tail and then our other wing. Three months? That's wild. Okay. We got We got the to add the wing or the tail. Let's go right here for the tail. Just like the red beam blow, skip and down the gutter, bitter, blue, bitter, bitter, the gutter. Whoa, Kai. It is, t wait, 12.30 in the evening or in the morning? Are 
you doing? Eh. Eh, we had in the tail for a flamingo. Eh. What do we should do with this flamingo burp? I guess we'll just do what we do with all our burps. Use them to take over the world. I will take over the world with my flamingos. Addy! Hello, welcome! Oh no, you lost your crochet hook! Okay, well... Good luck there. Good luck. That's why you get, like, five of the same exact crochet hooks, and it doesn't matter if you lose one. And then and then eventually you check your, the, your couch, and there's, like, so many crochet hooks in the couch. That's what I do. And needles. These darning needles, I swear to God, I've bought hundred of these darning needles because I lose them all the time because <laughs> I use them and then I go like oh I don't need it that bar I don't need to use it anymore Go choop and one of names and do one of these. Oh, I need to go to the bathroom. All right. All right. All right. All right. All right. Did you hear that Matthew McConaughey is is thinking about running for governor of Texas? <laughs> what a weird world we live in. What a weird. I guess he's better than like Arnold Schwarzenegger for California mayor or California governor. That was weird. That was weird that we elected Arnold Schwarzenegger as our may or as our governor. I keep wanting to call him the mayor. It is weird to me, not to get too political, but it is weird. It's like you're a movie star, though. What are you doing? What are you doing? Thank you, wannabe artist. And yes, a second happy belated birthday to you, chirp a little. I agree. Hope you're having a great day. Okay, so I am just going to do a little bit of surgery here on this wing to sew it on a little bit better because there's just a part on it that is just, it's just bugging me as all. Looks pretty good. We'll just pull these tight. Hey, if you haven't yet, please like this video, subscribe to the channel, all that fun jazz. Like and subscribe. You know, you gotta say it every 15 minutes or YouTube cancels you. They, they get rid of your YouTube account if you don't say to like and subscribe, so. You know, peck that subscribe button. <laughs> All right, next we got to add our little feet and then we can stuff, uh, crochet a little bit more and then sew it together. And then we can start working on our flamenco. Claire is making a flamingo as you do. As, as you must, honestly. Does it cost money to Discord? No, it doesn't. You can Discord for free. Discord is free, free, free.
Wow, 177 likes. That's pretty good. And also make sure to, um, uh, if you want to do the new Club Crochet uh, Challenge, the Club Crochet Challenge is to crochet a rocket or a UFO and to customize it to make it your own. And the winner of the Club Crochet Challenge will get their pattern added to the Club Crochet Library. I'm going to work with them to make their to make it into like a Club Crochet pattern, and they win 50 bucks. So if you're interested in learning more about that, you can find out more by just going to clubcrochet.com slash challenge, C-H-A-L-L-E-N-G-E, -L -L -E -E, and then I have all the details there. So uh, actually, Coffee and Crochet, if you're in, in the, could, if you could put the link in the in the comments, that would be super useful. Um, uh, just, just to clubcrochet.com slash challenge. But it's very cool. You essentially use one of these patterns and you make your own spaceship using either either you can add on to these patterns to make it or you can um, make your own uh, however you want to and we're gonna vote on which one we like most and we'll add that to the library and they'll, they'll be the winner uh, Cooperlicious Team Squawk needs more burbs oh boy the battle is on okay Cooper let's see what kind of burb can we add Cooper how about how about that turkey that we saw earlier you guys don't got a turkey yet Go ahead and add your turkey to Team Squawk. Team Squawk's army is becoming insatiable. That's the sound of an insatiable burb army. Hey, did anybody else see... Uh, uh, I'm not going to say any spoilers at all, but if you haven't yet, go watch Loki on Disney+. Plus. It was very good. I'm no, I know everybody's talking about it, but they're talking about it for a good reason. It was a very, very good show. I liked it a lot. I, I was a fan of the ending, too. I liked it. But I will not spoil anything. But it was good. You should check it out. Also, also I just watched the Black Widow one. That one was also very good. The Black Widow movie. Good, good movie. Good movie is good. Someone help Team Sharp. Keep an eye out for an email, says Sunshine. I will. Loki was fantastic, right? It was so good. I love Sylvie. I hope they keep so. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm I I'm I'm not trying to spoil anything. There's a character in that in the show that's really good, and I hope they keep her around somehow or another but again no spoilers yes i agree a peacock burb definitely is is uh yeah i'm gonna put some effort into that it's about time always for all time always yeah, Black Widow was really good. I actually saw it in theaters, which was crazy because that you know it was the first time I've been in theaters for two years. Um, but uh, in California, specifically in San Francisco, things have opened up here. The COVID numbers are really down, and I you know we got our vaccines and stuff, so we got to go see it in theaters, and it was so cool. I loved it. I loved it. It was a very cool movie to see in theaters. I didn't realize that I would miss going to movie theaters as much as, much as I did, but it was really fun. Penguin burp. Penguin burp. I'm chanting, I'm chanting that for you, Alice, so that maybe Louie will hear you. Penguin burp. <laughs> I do. I got to make a penguin burp. I've tried a couple of them, but I got to do another one. Okay. 
Next up, we need to add some stuffing. Yeah, man, two years. I mean, the quarantine was forever, man. It was so long. Maybe two years is saying a little bit too long. It maybe it was like a year and a half, but it sure feels like two years. Feels like uh, it's been a. Feels like it's been a long a couple years. Slash like really short. Seems like it kind of just like came and went. But uh. Erica, is there a pattern for the toucan? Not yet. Not yet. But there might be. But there might be soon. Yeah, the Delta variant. Yep, yep, yep. It is weird. You're right. It is weird saying variant after Loki. Okay, so we got our Flamingo Burb body pretty much done. I'm going to stuff it just a itty bitty bit more. And then we got to add our Flamenco hat. Hot Sarah Goblin Burb. That would be cool. I could do that. I think I could do that. Okay, so next up. Let's go ahead and add our little, I'm gonna add these little mini magnets to the bottom of our burb so that he can perch. Well, I shouldn't say he, because we don't know. We, we shouldn't assume the gender of our flamingo. Who knows? Who knows what kind of flamingo? We'll just go ahead and sew this closed. We don't know. Okay. Our flamingo has been sewn closed. There you go. Okay, and then do, do one of these right there, and then we'll, and then we'll have this end we'll come out right like there, and then we'll cut it. And then we just need to do the flamenco hat. All right. Flamingo verb is set to fini. C'est bon, c'est bon. Check it out. Come on. Try to get the head on a little bit better. But now we got a flamingo boy. Pretty great. Pretty great. Huh? Huh? All right, let's customize this flamingo. Let me drink some, let me have another sip of coffee because I'm addicted to coffee. It's okay, I'm, it's legal. I'm, a, I'm legally allowed to be addicted to coffee. And I'll grab a black yarn. We're gonna make a flamenco. Now for those people that don't know, a flamenco is like a, it's like a fun little hat that, uh, uh, let's see, what, what do they use flamencos for? It's a traditional Spanish hat used uh, uh, for a dance, which is called the flamenco, I guess. Let's see, let's see. I'm looking for, I'm looking for the Wikipedia article on flamenco. A style, oh, a flamenco is a style of Spanish music. But there is a hat that is well known for, uh, for the flamenco. Cool, cool. I'm gonna learn all about the fl flamenco culture and dancing and music after this as well, because that sounds really cool. But we're gonna go ahead and just start making it. I got an idea. I got some ideas on how to make it. Have I seen A Quiet Place 2? I have not seen A Quiet Place 2, but I really would like to. Look at that picture. That's a good picture. I would really like to see that. Oh, Dumb Dog's on a, they're on a roll here because I think that, I think that's a good idea. I think whatever we name our flamingo here, it should be something that is like, starts with an F. So like Frank the Flamenco, maybe something Spanish because we're doing, we're giving him a Spanish hat. What's a good Spanish name that starts with F? You're, uh oh. Did my screen stop? 
Ah! Hold on. Hold on. Something happened here. I don't know what happened. I think I unplugged it. Did I fix? Did I fix it? Okay, wait. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. I unplugged the camera by accident. Here we go. I fixed it. I fixed it. Francis. Francis the Flamingo. From Bath Halon. <laughs> Fernando the Flamingo. From Barcelona. I like the idea that he's from Barcelona, but that's just because I really like saying Barcelona. <laughs> I think the only reason I'm not familiar with it is probably because you, you're a lot closer to Spain than I am. I'm a lot more familiar with Mexican culture than I am with Spain's culture. Oh, donation! Dude, you're freaking on fire, Cooper! Yeah, sure, what team... Hey, Cooper, you want your team on Team, team Squawk or Team Chirp? What team you want it on? You let me know, Coop. Is it okay if I shorten your name to Coop? Fernando the Flamingo. Francisco the Flamingo. From Florence. Is Florence in Spain? Where's Florence? Florence is Italy. Forky the Flamingo. Okay, so we're making a Flamingo. I think this is probably long enough. We'll just go. Well, maybe we can make it a little bit big. No. How big? How big do these hats go? Let's see. Oh, they're pretty big. They like go over the head. Okay, so. Squawk. Okay, Team Squawk is getting another member. We are, we are overpowered here on Team Squawk. Let's do a. Hold on. Now hold on. Where's where's there's a chicken. This is this is going on Team Squawk here. This would be a chicken burb that also can shoot eggs. So now now they've got some art artillery on Team Squawk. It's starting to seem it's starting to seem like Team Chirp is is feeling a little feeling a little left out. <laughs> But that's okay. That's allowed. Cause if the hat goes out like to there, that would be really funny, huh? Okay, we're gonna make the hat like like that big. One. Let's try it. We'll try to make the hat extra big, and then we'll figure it out from there. Cause this is already bigger than the head is gonna be. So it'll go over the head, like right there. Yeah, the chicken, yeah. Yeah, the eagle, I, you're right, I haven't done that. And there's a, there's a, um, a nether, there's a nether, um, uh, like parrot-like one, the cockatoo, I have one for that. Okay, so is this going to be too big for the top of our flamenco? Perhaps. But it would be funny. Maybe it should be a little smaller. Well, whatever. Let's see how this goes. If we need to, we can undo it. Go like that. That. I'm gonna do something that I did on, if you remember last Christmas, I came out with a uh, Christmas box pattern. And in that pattern, it was very, um, I did like this really crazy cool technique.
that I like a lot. And we're going to do something like that. Oh, yeah. Don't forget about the hummingbird. I need to make a new hummingbird. I gave my hummingbird to um, to my mom. <laughs> so I don't have one. I need to crochet a new one. Well, actually, you know what? I do have it. It's in the other room. I have, I have a secondary one that I was testing out. But I still should make a new one. Because I want to. Porky the parrot. I like it. So we got Porky the parrot, we got uh, Chonky Cheese, and we got, uh, what's the toucan's name again? Ta, 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 the start of the T. Tango, Tango the toucan. What about the eagle? What's our eagle's name? Oh! One more for Team Chirp. One more for Team Chirp. We're even out the, even out the playing field. Let's go with a, let's see, what do we got down here? What do we got? Let's see if I can't find us a new boy. But, ooh, ooh, this is a nice, this is a classic looking pigeon. We could do a pigeon, a pigeon. Yeah, let's do, let's do a pigeon because I, oh, 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 no, 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 no. I know what we need. We need. Where is he? Where is he? Where you at? Don't you hide from me? Wait, seriously though, where is he? Hold on. There he is. I knew he was here somewhere. Captain Reggie Reginald. Captain Reginald, the pit, the, the, now this is, now this will even the playing field, I think. Because now Team Chirp has got an actual captain on their team. Here, go in front of, he'll go in front of Monster Quack, like that. Now, now, I mean, he's got a sword, so. The battle, the battle has, has become quite intense. Yo, Tassilarian already doing your second dragon? You're obsessed. Not, the pattern's technically not even out yet. Did you provide, you provided feedback, right? Do you have any, um, things you'd like to add to the pattern or take away or whatever you want? Let me know, Tassilarian. That is the point. Please give me any feedback that you may have for that pattern. That is true. That is true. Team Squawk does have Chonky. Chonky Cheese on their team. And, you know, like, what are you going to do? You got Chonky Cheese on your team. Oh, you did. Okay, cool. Thank you very much, Tathalarian. See, so I'm making the, the top of the hat like that. It's going to be the top of our flamenco, and then we're going to change color so that it's going to have one stripe of red, and then I'm going to make it go out, and I'm going to have little danglies on the outside of it. That's the goal. That is the goal. Did we ever come up with a name for our eagle? Oh, Eleanor. Oh, I like the Eleanor. Eleanor the eagle. That's nice. That's sweet. That's that's so sweet. Yeah. I mean, I yeah. Okay, wait. I need to change colors now. We need a red yarn. We're gonna go pretty like, like we're gonna go like pretty bright red. So we're going to say, I don't know, Fran let, let's say his name is Francis for right now because that's not a bad name and I know that was suggested. So let's say Francis the Flamingo flaunts his flamenco.
fe ferociously. Vigorously. Oh, wait, maybe I should have done this half color change early. Well, it's just a little itty bitty stretch. Well, no, no, we're good. We're good. Okay. We're okay for right now. We'll see. Francesco the Flamengo wearing a flamenco. Flabluless. <laughs> Flabluless. Ernie the Eagle, I like that too. I like Ernie the Eagle. Alliteration. Flalliteration. Right? See how it's coming together? It's gonna go there, and then we're gonna do one more round of red, and then we're gonna make it go out. And then we'll we'll do little dangleys. Red yarn. I don't know how yet we're gonna do our little dangleys, but we'll figure it out when we get there. We can either sew them on separate, maybe we could do loop stitches. That might work. Okay, that's good. That is, I like, I like that. Uh, where are you going with that, Tesslarian? Thank you for your um, suggestion there. Flaunts his feathers fearlessly. Perfect. What size hook did I use on the tiny one? I think I used a size 1.25 millimeter crochet hook, and I used embroidery thread. I'm pretty sure that's the one I used because that's usually the one I use, but I'm not 100% sure. Just pretty sure. Can you do tiny bobbles? Yeah, we can do tiny bobbles. Yeah, for the bottom of it. That, that might be a good idea. Um, well, maybe. The, the bobbles might, because I really want it to be dangling. I like the idea of, um, you don't get, so there is a word in puppet uh, lingo um, called sympathetic motion. Sympathetic motion is essentially, I mean, it's in an animation lingo and uh, puppet lingo, but it's essentially when something moves after the person's moved. For example, like hair. So like if you have something that dangles, that's got a lot of sympathetic movement to it usually. So I really want whatever we do with our hat here to have some sympathetic movement to it. Something kind of dangly. And I don't know if those bobble stitches will necessarily have too much of that, but uh, we'll see when we get there. Might be something, maybe we'll add it on after we make the main part of the hat. Might be easier to do that way. Oh. I don't know. Dinner time. See you, Jane. Thanks for joining. Oh, I should do little name tags. Oh, that'd be fun. I just don't have the time. Oh, I wish someone else could like help with the, the videos and be like, I'm going to add name tags to it. That'd be really cool. Oh, uh, uh, Dumb Dog Studios asks how I started my crochet business. Um, okay, so here's how it started. When I was in high school and learning how to crochet, uh, a lot of people were asking to purchase the things that I made. Hey, can you make me a hat? Hey, could you make me whatever? Uh, and I was like, yeah, okay. So then I just started selling individual ones. And then my um, uh, we were graduating for college and my girlfriend uh, at the time was uh, really needed a computer for college. And so I decided to raise money for her birthday for a computer by selling my crocheted things. And I raised like, like $2,000 in a month by just selling crocheted hats and stuff. And then I realized, oh boy, uh, maybe I could make some money doing this. Now, that's, that's, that was very rare. I think the only reason I really made that much money uh, while I was doing that was because I, um, like I was going to people that, you know, I, I was, I was trying to get money that time. Like I was, people that were essentially like donating by buying a hat. 
Um, so, but after that, I realized, wow, maybe I could make a business just selling these crocheted items. And I started to do fairs for crocheted selling, uh, like selling hats. Um, and I would just crochet hats like all the time. I was very obsessed with making hats at the time. And uh, yeah, that's kind of how it got started. Uh, and that's when I had a friend who said, um, wow, well, you need a name for your business. What are you going to name it? And their mom said, uh, what about Louis Loops? That's a great name. And I was like, I love the name Louis Loops. So I took it and I used it. And I still use it today. That's kind of a good like summary of how the business started. And then I, people started asking about crochet patterns and stuff. And so then I started making patterns, but I needed to do video tutorials for the patterns because it was really hard for me to explain my patterns without video tutorials because I would use stitches that were not normal, I guess. What was my first verb? My first verb was the, um, was a pigeon. It was definitely a pigeon. Yeah. Oh, we could do a chain and then do a little bobble and then a slip stitch for the rest of the chain. That's not a bad idea. Yeah, we could try that. We definitely could try that cock and crochet. That's a good idea. And, and you know what? We will try it. Just a sec. I wouldn't mind sewing them all on though. Also, that wouldn't that wouldn't be a, too much of a problem. And then just do slip. Yeah. Okay, so then we can try just like another round first. Oh my god, it's already looking so great though. But yeah, we do want it to be a little bit longer. Yes, Dumb Dog Studios, good question. Uh, they ask, speaking of selling, do you do uh, do you have permission to sell items made with my patterns? Yes, you do. Um, the rule is you need to give credit to the me, the pattern maker, in the description of wherever you're selling it. So if you're if you're making like little triceratops and you're selling them on Etsy, then what you got to do is in the description of that Etsy listing, you have to say pattern by clubcrochet.com in the description. But as long as you do that, yes, you are absolutely uh, allowed to sell items that you make with my patterns. Thanks for asking too. What was the first thing that I crocheted? I believe the first thing I crocheted was an octopus amigurumi. Uh, it was like kind of big. It was like that big. It had just like, it was really, really, really simple. Uh, it was basically just like, like a big ball and then like eight balls that you sewed onto the one big one. Uh, so the, the design was really simple. And then I made a, um, shortly after I made a panda bear um, it was a red panda. Uh, it actually was just like a normal panda bear. I just made it with red yarn instead of black yarn because I didn't have black yarn. I only had red yarn. <laughs> Has the audio gone quiet? That is a great question. Has the audio gone quiet? Let me know. If you're in the chat, is my audio gone quiet? Or is it just uh, for chat crafty chats? Is it on my side or is it on her side? That is one heck of a flamenco. I'm loving this. I do not have them. Most of the things that I made when I first started crocheting, I were were made as gifts for friends. So I actually don't have that, uh, and I don't have, um, yeah, I don't have either of them. Uh, and I don't know if the person that I gave them to still has them either, because you know they weren't really great. But maybe they do. I mean, it'd be really cool. It'd be really cool if uh, if I could find the first things that I made. Okay, now I'm gonna try doing uh, the the little bobble stuff. So we're gonna start by trying with um, uh. We're gonna start by trying with this red yarn and see how that goes. And we're just gonna try doing maybe one, 
to. Well, that'll make it go up. Okay, wait, we want to go into the, let's try only going into the front loop. One, two, like that, and then do it. So then we're gonna go one, two, All I want it down. Okay, let's do three. And then we'll go with like maybe like a popcorn stitch or like a mini bobble in this top one here. Maybe even like that wouldn't be wouldn't be too bad. And then slip stitch one. Like that. No, see, I don't like that. That looks kind of weird to me. It looks like it's drooping. It looks like it's, the hat looks like it's bleeding. <laughs> so let's try instead of doing that. Sorry, I'm just thinking real quick. About how to easiest easiest way to do this because I also want the edge of this last round to be red so I'm actually gonna pull this last round out and we're, we're gonna crochet it in red well not in all red we're gonna do half color changes to make it red okay let's try this again just for the last round here that way we can do the edge in red at least and then we can add the the, the dangle the dingle dangles afterwards Ding dang dongles. Try this again. Am I crocheting? Yes, I am, Kovic. I am making this pattern for the hat up as I go. I, I do not have a pattern written for this at all. Uh, so, yes, it's all in my head. All in the, the old noggin. Yeah, let's see what I mean. So I want the edge of the hat to be red like that. So that when I put it on, it's got like the edge of red because that's what the kind of flamenco hats have on them. And then I'll hang things from it. Ooh. Ready? Let's see. Let's see if we can get cracked. Nope. Nope. How about back crack? Ooh, that was a good one. Let's turn that mic. Okay. Yeah, that, that's exactly what I was thinking, Chirp, a little, is maybe doing, like, a knot at the end. Of, yep. So that's what I think I'm going to be trying. But, uh, yeah, let's finish this round, and then I'll, I'll show you what I mean of what I'm thinking. It might be a little tedious, but I think it'll be a better um, process. I think it'll look a little bit cleaner than what we were going to do. But we will find out. I don't embroider much, so I don't know too many like special knots. So I think we're probably just gonna use like a rose knot or a, a, a bullion knot when we do it. <laughs> but yeah, I think I'm gonna try sewing on with a little bit extra red and doing bullion knots along the way. I don't know what the surface stitch is. I should look that into that. So 
long have we been going for? Oh, we've almost been going for three hours. That's pretty good. Okay. Yeah, well, this is the last bit, too. And by the way, um, I, I mean, we got a little bit more time right now still left over. But, guys, if you have been joined at all, even just a little bit for this Sunday live stream, even if you're just joining right now, I just want you to know, thank you so much for joining. I really appreciate it. You make my Sundays so much better. So thank you for joining. And everybody that donated, like, even more so, thank you. <laughs> you are keeping me uh, surviving. So I appreciate your donations. I appreciate you guys watching. Um, of course, I appreciate any kinds of likes and subscribes if you uh, would be so kind. Um, and, yeah, just thanks for joining, guys. Um, is San Francisco cool? Yeah, San Francisco is awesome. Uh, I mean, it's literally cool right now. I think it's probably, like, 58 degrees outside. Um, but it's also just like cool in the sense of it's cool, dude. It's a cool dude. I like it. I like it here. Is it a slip stitch on the game of No, right now I am doing a single crochet stitch all the way around, but I'm doing a, um, a half color change so that the top of the stitches are red and the bottom of the stitches are black so that it just has a hint of like a black outline to all of the stitches. That's what I'm currently doing. I missed a stitch though. And I'm doing increases. I'm basically doing uh, uh, like one, two, three, three single crochets and then an increase, but it's all half color changes. If you wanna learn more about half color changes, um, I have a tutorial at clubcrochet.com slash um, stripe. <coughs> S T R I P E stripe and it teaches you how to do little stripes like this. Um dude, cold blooded adventures, thank you. You have a pro membership, that's awesome. Did you get this month's kit or did you sign up afterwards and you're gonna get next month's? Regardless, thanks so much for being a pro member. I really appreciate that. And I hope you enjoy it as much as I enjoy making them. Okay, so we got one more stitch here. And then we're gonna figure out the little the little dangly, dingly dangles. Okay, because we got a good hat. We got a good starter for the hat here. I'm gonna just kind of stretch it out so that it lays flatter. Okay, and let's go ahead and cut all this yarn off and then we'll we'll just hide these ends in. Need that red yarn in a sec. Pull the slip stitch out. Go ahead and hide these ends. Oh! New squawk. Oh man. Dumb Dog Studios is is out for blood. New Squawk member. All right. How about another barn owl for Team Squawk? Well, Team Squawk doesn't have a barn owl. So, because I know you already have an owl, so we're going to add another owl on top of yours. So what do you want to... You got Chonky Cheese. Now, what's this one's name going to be? Dumb Dog Studios. We're going to put him... Can, can you fit my... Put him, maybe we're... We'll put them right here. Jeez, oh gosh. Oh jeez. There's so many burbs. This isn't okay. Also, this is insane. <laughs> Look how many burbs are out there. Everybody that's donated, thank you. Oh my gosh. You guys are on fire. Thank you very, very much. It's so cool. There's so many burbs. <laughs> I love that other people love the burbs as much as I love the burbs. Okay, so. Cut that one, cut that one, cut that one. Then this one I'll just hide a little bit more because I'm worried that if I cut it, things will start to come apart. this like that ok 
Okay. So now we want to add the dink. Uh oh. Uh oh. Chirp a little says no. No. Uh uh. Team Chirp. All day, every day. This one is for you, Chirp. Chirp a little. Team Chirp gets another burb. I think we are tied on burbs. I'm not totally sure. Oh man. Oh my gosh. We need to make some space here, guys. Eleanor the Eagle. We got Captain Reginald. Spread out. All right, these guys go like that. That's pretty good. There we go. Quite a war. Quite a battle. The hat will go on our boy. Or, yeah, right? Because he's got that. Now we just need to add the little dingle dangles and we'll be good. Okay. Oh, dude, Claire, thank you. Just, just the thought counts. I appreciate it. Okay, so let's see how this is gonna work. We're gonna try something. We're gonna try something that I've never tried before. We're gonna start like here, and we'll come out there. And what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna go around each of these ends, and every now and then, we're gonna try something. So we're just gonna go around one, like this every few stitches and then after every yeah let's go with every two i'm gonna try to do a bullion knot i don't know if i can like that maybe let's try it let's see we're making it up we're making it up but we're trying like that you know so we make a little bullion knot like that uh oh problem is, are we going to be able to maintain the distance for each of the bullion knots? Because I want it to be like that. No, 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 no. This ain't going to work. That's not going to fly. Hmm. Hmm, guys. Ooh. Okay, how are we going to do this? How are we going to do this? Because I was thinking bullion knots would be really fun and easy, but they might just be more complicated. Because th this is what we want. We want to attach this to that like that. So we have little dingles, little dingle, di dingleberries uh, hanging all over the place. Um, hmm. Sewing time. I mean, whatever. There's going to be what? Like, 20 total we could do 20 let's just let's just try it let's just try like making ones and then i'll just go ahead and sew it in and hide the end in like that right and then boom we got a dingle and then we'll just cut it like that and hope it stays pointing down what do we think that's not bad, right? If we did like a bunch of these. Okay, so we'll go, we'll go every two, we'll add a new one. Like this. And then we'll just add another one there. <laughs> yes. I like it. Personally, I like it. Okay. I always forget how to do the bullion knot. Is that, is that how to do it? Oopsies. If I go like, oh man. I mean, that is how you do bullion knots, but that's way too long. Okay, okay. Okay. Okay, 
here's the thing. We started out friends, right? It was cool, but it was all pretend. Oh, wow. Well. Hmm. Well, we can just do a knot on this one. So that it's a little lower. We're making up things. Figuring it out as we go. See? See? You got two now. One, two. Problem I'm having is that they're they want to come out like out and I want them to point down. But it looks like one. It looks like what we're looking for. It does look right. Okay. Let's keep going. I think these knots are the easiest way for me. To just make a knot in one side, like that. Maybe double it if we want to. Okay. See, that makes a nice little one. And then we just cut the end of it. Oh, we got another one. Kovic! Oh, Kovic, thank you so much! Kovic, which side do you want your burp to be on? Do you want it to be on uh, Squawk, Team Squawk, or do you want Team Chirp? You decide. I think I'm going to go more from the bottom of it, like that. So that way they point down more. We're going to try that instead. You know? Because then it'll be like... Oh, but that's more on the inside. Never mind. I'm wrong. Kovic, which which team you want? <laughs> One, two, three. Hide this end. You don't make me choose. You can't make me choose. That's not fair. Um, well, hmm. I mean, it's going to have to go on the team with the least amount of members, which I might be chirped. So we got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I mean, that means, that means, that means what it means, guys. Yeah, I, I'm going to give, I'm going to give Korvich another chance to to decide before chirp okay Kovic has Kovic has made their decision team chirp gets a new member we're gonna go with a with a I mean let's just do a pigeon right Let's even let even plan field. Well, they got a lot of pigeons over there, though. But we also got a duck. The problem. Okay, so I really want to add this one, but I can't find the head for it. It's somewhere down here, but I can't find it. What's that? There's a goblin back here. Oh wait, here it is. this oh there's a sloth down there <laughs> oops <laughs> there's things there's there's hidden crochet everywhere I can't find the head well we can mix and match let's mix and match so this is the body 
and it, uh, with the head of a seagull. And that, that this is on Team Chirp now. And it's a new creation. I don't know what it is, but it is, it's new. It's a new creation. Okay, let's keep going on our, on our hat here. They have chosen their fate. You decide, no you. That's funny. Okay. Okay, keep going. More red yarn. Go a little quicker now, since this part's a little weird, a little boring. Just taking a look. <laughs> it looks weird. Doesn't it look weird to you? It doesn't look like th they're just not bending down. I just want them to stay like there. I guess if I just like pinch them. You know? Then I can make them point down. Like that. I mean, maybe it won't look that weird when there's a bunch of them. I guess it doesn't look that weird. Okay. Keep going. Keep going. Looks like he's spinning. Yes, perfect. Good point. That's a really good point, Cooper. It's a super solid point. Looks like he's he's in the middle of dancing. One, two. Okay, and we've got to knot this one. I'm just gonna cut it a little early, and then knot it. Might have been a bad move, but whatever, I did it. Going about halfway there, living on a purr. You don't think I can make a burb look bad? Well, that's very nice of you. I'm sure I can make a burb look bad if I wanted to, but I don't want to. Excellent. Indubitably. Wonderful. Too long.
Okay, just a few more. Few more. Hey, yeah. This this burp is gonna be so funny to bring out in later live streams when we're like adding birds to the background. <laughs> All right, one, two, what's next? Like monster quack. Oh. Give Jack Gurgle a hug from you? Okay, I will, one sec. One, two. Actually, I think this will be the last. Right? Yeah, this is the last, this is the last one. We're, we might have like a small gap in the end here, but we'll make this the back of them anyhow. It is a mess on the inside of this hat, but whatever. Not supposed to be the inside of the hat anyhow. We're not wearing a hat for the inside. We're wearing a hat for the outside. Okay. Loosen it. Loosen it. Bring that knot down. Boom. Right? There we go. All right. Let's see this hat on our... Looks like a spider or something. Huzzah! Yep, it does look like he's in the middle of spinning around. Let's go ahead. Let's try to, like, pinch him so that they face down, at least for a sec. <laughs> oh, this is so silly. Okay, so we have Fa Fabio, the Flamingo, or whatever. We'll figure out a name at a, lift, at a different time with his flamenco hat. Oh, wonderful. There it is from the back. It looks ridiculous, but I love it. But I still love it. Wonderful, wonderful. All right, guys. Well, that is going to be the stream for the day. Everybody who has supported, thank you so much. Let's see who. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. But there is a little tiny burb on the chirp team. So, I mean. I would say it's basically a tie. It's basically a tie. But, um, you know, if we're gonna, you know, if we're gonna, if we're gonna pick and choose. Fred, Fed, Federico, the Flamingo, flourishes his flamenco fabulously. Voila. <laughs> <laughs> Voila. All right, guys. Thanks so much for joining. Uh, seriously, like, thanks for sticking in. Thank, thanks for staying with me the whole time. Um, if you like this, you know the deal. Make sure to like, subscribe. I'll still give you guys a little bit more time. If you would like to submit a caption, here's your chance. Uh, go to clubcrochet.com slash caption and Make something funny. Make me laugh. If this is a good caption, if you make me laugh, uh, whoever is the best, uh, whoever does the best job will uh, win a free three-month membership to Club Crochet. So it's pretty cool. 
Um, so there's the first thing. If you would like to join the Club Crochet Challenge, you can learn more at clubcrochet.com slash challenge. Basically, you are making your own spaceship and whichever spaceship we like the most, um, the top four will be voted on by the community and whoever wins will get their pattern added to the Club Crochet library um, with my help. I'm gonna help them turn it into a Club Crochet pattern. So you might learn a thing or two as well and you'll win 50 bucks. So it's a pretty good uh, winner, uh, winning like prize in my opinion i think it's a pretty good prize uh you can learn more about that at clubcrochet.com slash challenge you only have one week to do this so if you're in, interested at all check it out at clubcrochet.com slash challenge and even if you're you're not like super fan big fan of your submission um i still suggest you give it a shot i think it'd be a lot of fun so check it out clubcrochet.com slash challenge clubcrochet.com slash caption for the caption and uh regardless Thank you all so, so much for joining. I'll see you soon. If Again, if you want to get this club curse or this pattern for free, it'll be free for like the next maybe a day, not very long. Um, so clubcrochet.com slash flamingo is where you can find this pattern and it will be free for only a couple more days. So check it out while you can. Um, thank you all again for watching. Oh, what a stream. What a wonderful live stream. Yeah. Can you do both in one picture? Yes, absolutely. You absolutely can do both. Um, yeah. Okay. Well, thanks again for watching. Pasta la pizza. Happy hooking. It was quite a blood bath. Blood bath of thing. And you know what, Bobby? No, you hang up. No, no, you hang up. Stop it. Stop. No, you. Oh my gosh. Would you? You are so bad. No, you hang up. No, you, oh my gosh, Bobby, you're making me blush. Stop it. No, you hang up. Oh my gosh. No, you hang, good night. No, you hang up. No, you hang up. Okay, bye. Oh, no, you, no, you hang up first. No, you hang up first.